Uh, that's actually not before, though. Uh, you came across uh, some of the hunters that are now chasing Pink. Uh, so you found that uh, Nihilus had sent a couple of his assassins after Ping, which would be kind of a new reoccurring piece for the group uh, as uh, the devourer, the kind of the Darth Nihilus tries to hunt down the disturbance he felt in the force. Uh, but luckily, you guys are able to take them down. Uh, I think Ping actually got a pretty good spell or power in there that uh, distracted him or incapacitated him. So you guys were able to tie him up, and I think they both eventually got chopped down by Ool after that. Uh, but not before you guys were able to take their ship uh, and learn that Darth Nihilus was, uh, had his own ship uh, positioned in between uh, Mandalore and Terrace, and maybe manipulating the, at least, not, not the Mandalorians, at least the new Mandalorians. Uh, so you guys got a little bit of information on that side. Uh, but after that, you guys were able to meet with the Mandalorians who were left behind uh, from Ordo's old clan. Uh, and you uh, met with Vin, who's kind of like their de facto leader after uh, Kander also was killed. Uh, and made a little bit of an uneasy alliance with them. Uh, he's not a fan of Jedi. He's not a fan of the Republic. He doesn't have Kander as a soft spot for them. Uh, but he does not like uh, the Devourer more. He hates the Devourer more uh, and is willing to join forces with you guys if it means getting rid of, the, rid of him and getting the clans back where they should be. Uh, so that's actually where we'll pick up now. You guys are on the moon in that Mandalorian camp. Uh, kind of about to begin discussing what your plan is for helping to take down the Mandalorians. Uh, or the, the hostile Mandalorian clans, I should say. Oh, and one other piece, too, with uh, what you guys found out during Ren's research, uh, is that her mother, May Ren, uh, is actually almost like the right-hand man uh, to this new Mandalore. Uh, she's been involved in organizing the clans and getting everybody kind of uh, in line uh, with the new expansion plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't talk about it. <laughs> you get to choose your friends. You can't choose your family. <laughs> it's true. That's what they say. What they say. <laughs> Perfect. So you guys uh, kind of really come into the scene. Actually, is there anything you all want to do before beginning planning, I should say? Well, I am shelling out money for a premium uh, hunting rifle. And of course I got an 8, so we're good. Would yeah. anyone want to look into get buying like a, a hollow, hollow, like any kind of tracking device for hollow communications? I don't think the Mandalorians would have anything like that. But we could find some kind of like hollow community. Hollow. I saw a hollow tracker where you can like track uh, hollow signals. I didn't know if you guys would like to look into seeing if that might be useful. Or... We can if you if you think it'll be useful. Um. Would the Mandalorians even have something like that? Yeah, they'd have the hollow trace device. Oh, I'll buy one of those. Then. Okay, thousand credits. <laughs> I thought that would be like something that we would need to buy down the line. A specialty source or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh man. Did we have a long rest since last time? That's a uh, good question. You guys can definitely take a long rest if you like. Okay. <laughs> I think that's actually what we planned for. Yeah, I took. Yeah, we did. I took down the. Uh, the force point scores. So okay. yeah, definitely okay. put a long rest in. Yeah, was it like overnight? That are, it from was overnight. Lab? Okay, I thought so. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I have like a that. question. <laughs> Is Isolith there? And if so, how do the Mandalorians Mandalorians react to the Rancor? <laughs> uh, so is Isolith bringing the Rancor with her? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you would have to stop her, and then you'd have to like not even stop the rancor have to talk to the rancor <laughs> uh, so you're met with a lot of hostility uh, almost a shootout uh, but luckily the group is able to kind of vouch for you uh, and since you guys have an uneasy alliance they don't want to rock the boat and if they believe they think uh, you could help them get ta uh, take down Mandalore the devourer so they're, they're kind of giving you a pass as of now how did they feel about me buying three mines, a remote detonator, and a <laughs> hollow tracer. 
Uh, they don't really care about the hollow tracer, but you get a little bit of a nod of approval from the Mandalorian to say, yeah, you guys, you lot should stop playing with those little light light ups and use a real weapon. Mine's are a good step towards that. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, if we end up on the ship and we need something to go boom, might be handy to be, like, away from it. <laughs> Would, uh, I know, I mean, I haven't really played to Ool's intelligence too often, minus one, but uh, this could be a great opportunity. <laughs> would I know that slicing uh, one of those mines in half with a lightsaber would active would cause it to explode? Yeah, uh, even being slightly slow, Ool's been on a battlefield. He'd know if he's kind of cut it in half, or if he tried to just straight cut it in half, it'd blow up. If he tried to like maybe disarm it with the lightsaber, which is probably not your best option. It, it, potentially if you okay. did really well with it no uh, I was just disarm. gonna <laughs> just gonna strike out in reply to their snarkiness but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you you get a lot of snarkiness from the Mandalorian especially for the ones that clearly look like Jedi so uh, Ool and whoever else has their saber on their hip uh, they're, they're, they're gonna be a little snarky uh, gonna pass you try to blast you blasters things like that uh, kind of uh, condescending rants about how close you need to get for it to work. Uh, just a lot of that Mando superiority there. Excuse yeah. me. I use whatever I can get my hands on. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, think, I think Ren would think it's best just to, you know, not reply to them and, you know, definitely always has her helmet on around like Mando's. Uh, yeah, she's just sort of letting it uh you know, fall right off her as best as she can. <laughs> Don't let them see the feels. Only I cowards would avoid a face-to-face -face battle. Hey. Uh, you fight with a knife when you got to, but when you got 20 uh, Jedi, you know, I fought a couple Jedi in my time, running at you, just uh, shoot there, shoot there, shoot there. When they get close, you stab them. Uh, you got to run 20 feet just to get in range with that. Have you? Uh, I mean, have you ever have had you know... a tree thrown at you? Because that 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 wouldn't be fun. <laughs> <laughs> have you no honor for some of the uh, older, uh, more uh, what was it like the ritual techniques? I thought you would have. And she gives like a, you know, a very judgy like up and down. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, listen, I understand you're a Mandalorian, but honor isn't exactly some of their stark characteristic as much as they would like us to believe so you see the the band uh, does take uh, a little bit of a fist to that uh it's actually from both sides uh so uh ren giving him the up and down judge look and kind of insulting his honor uh and then nor acting like they don't have honor uh oh. he goes you you the coots we have our own sense of honor it's not your little high morally jedi sense and he kind of sneers at noru uh, and i have no idea what codes you follow anymore in uh but we follow the old ways of the six paths uh you're, that is what we've been brought up on if you're following the old ways you would know of uh hand-to-hand -hand combat as well melee are uh, blasters and uh and other forms of ranged combat are great but a true Mandalorian knows its way around any weapon. Uh, you see, he kind of gives you a nod. Eh, that, that's true. But if you could shoot them before they get to you, do that. And when they get to you, uh, you could just pound them down there. Uh, any port in the storm, you know? I mean, you're not wrong, but... I, I don't know. I just... This whole, like, honor thing about you guys having super honor and then you guys did what you guys did to Cathar and then, you know, uh... Noru, I'm just trying to criff with them. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just don't come to me and act like you're all high and mighty and you got this honor code because... <laughs> He's gonna hear you. Come on. <laughs> come on, man. So... As that happens, Ping kind of walks up and pats Nor Noro's uh, shoulder, takes out his flask and holds it up and says, ah, the only weapon you need, and kind of tips it at him and says to friends. And then takes a <laughs> swig. I'm, you still confuse me. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so as you guys, uh, I gotta go and get your supplies and pick on that poor Mando. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's got uh, a weird head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eventually, you do have uh, two guards. Gotta come sit. Uh, let you guys know that uh, Ben is ready for y'all if you want to come plan out the assault. Uh, he's in the uh, kind of centermost tree fort. Uh, it'll be awaiting you when you're ready. Sounds good to me. As soon as y'all are good, I'm ready to scooch. Yeah, things good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so they lead you uh, into uh, kind of through the forest into this little treehouse above the, the the forest floor. Uh, you see, it's kind of been made into a makeshift command center. You see a large table, a uh, metal table in the middle, uh, along surrounded by some various electronics, computers, looks like sensors monitoring uh, the area around them, uh, as well as a big hollow screen that has the, uh, looks like a representation of Terrace uh, and kind of the fleet surrounding Terrace currently. Uh, so you see all those kind of piled up, uh, and at the end of the table, you see Ben uh, in his black and gold Mandalorian armor uh, with his helmet currently off. Uh, and he's got kind of a, uh, looks like he's looking right at it into a data pad as you guys come in. Uh, and he looks up slowly and goes, all right, we're partners. Let's figure out how we can get our deal done. Uh, we can both go on our own ways. Uh, you see it points to the hollow projector. Uh, Right now, this is a fleet above Terrace. Uh, and you see, this looks like a pretty makeshift looking fleet. You see a lot of kind of smaller, uh, kind of one man fighters as well as medium ships. Uh, and it looks like they were able to salvage a few of the dreadnoughts uh, that they utilized in the Mandalorian War. Uh, but it looks like they're kind of few and far between uh, in the area. There's just a, a couple of those around. Uh, but you do notice kind of a, a plethora of the smaller ships uh, just kind of circling around. Uh, then goes, we, we don't have the men. Uh, when they took out my brother, they were able to get most of the clans beside them. With a new Mandalore put out the call and promised to take back the homeworld, many more have flocked to him. So however we do this, we got to get in, get out quietly. Personally, me and the boys are thinking the best way to do it is find a way to get in and just eliminate Mandalore the Devourer. Just take him off the playing field. Hopefully uh, the rest will crumple after he's gone. Uh, but with Ujiti here, they can feel the force. You see him kind of raise his hands and uh, do like a little mock force thing. We wanted to see what you all had to say, see what you what you think, what your force would tell you about what we want to do. I mean, wouldn't they just like just have a new leader? Like. <laughs> I feel like this is treating the symptom rather than, you know, going for the source. You already know what we're all going to do. Pulls out his lightsaber and just makes like a stabbing gesture. <laughs> <laughs> in, well, I mean, like in a sar giving sarcastic eyes. Uh, you see, you kind of nod and say, uh, a, little, a little light bright. Uh, but. Uh, he kind of goes back to Norder's point. Yeah, they will try to find a new leader. Hard thing is when a leader's dead and nobody took it off of him, then fighting comes in. Uh, everybody wants to be the big boss. We may disrupt them enough uh, that me and my boys may be able to get in and help steer them back to where they need to be. Uh, or at least keep them off balance enough so they're not led astray by the devourer any further. Well, my point is isn't that there will be infighting. My my point is is are they are a majority of his forces there because they're loyal to him, or are they simply there because he's the biggest thing around and they you know, uh, have no you know are they there for his him and his cause? Or are they just there because he called? Uh, you see, Vic kind of pauses and uh, thinks for a second and say, probably a toss-up. Uh, some followed him before, and those probably are just hardcore loyalists. 
uh, but some, uh, you kind of, you see him nod uh, to Noru, uh, sorry, not to Noru, uh, so nods to Ren uh, and says, some like your mother uh, came after uh, you promised to take Mandalore back. Uh, it depends. Uh, if you crashed, I think some may go back to their mercenary life. Others may try to pursue Mandalore and others may just kind of go on their own way. Uh, it's hard to say without it, with them still in the picture. Because I'm wondering if maybe instead of uh, like sabotage, we should make a. If there were a challenge upon Mandalore, then he would be. I don't. It would it would force him into a situation where he would have to co confront somebody. And maybe if the person who wins is on our side, then we can get the Mandalorians or the the Mandalore's uh, forces to uh, rally to not join or you know, do what they're doing. Does that make sense? Uh, so, you, so you want to have somebody challenge him for the crowd, pretty much. I so mean, wouldn't Ping, that like, be... Uh... visibly scratches his head and says, uh, is this Guild 2.0? <laughs> Just, like, shrugs. <laughs> like, whatever. I don't know. I just... Because that way, if they're... If whoever wins is Mandalore, then they... You can cut it. Yeah, I mean, I can cut the pizza if you want. Just, sorry. Uh, <laughs> pizza. I was like, whoa. That took a weird turn, but I guess. Okay. <laughs> no. pizza, pizza time. Uh, it uh, sounds like uh, you guys are all just after the power yourselves. What? How are we to know that the change in power ends up in the right hands? Point. Are we, are we positive that the current hands are are not the the better ones? See, it pause for a second. Says, I've got no love for the Republic. You all know that. I don't like Ejeti. I don't like the Republic. I wish we burnt it all in the war. But we all know how the war turned out. Uh, your Revan beat us, disarmed us, burned most of our Beskar Uh They burned our basilisks. They burned our fleet. Uh, for those who still have their armor, they either had to make no armor, or they were cowards and fled the battle. We know we can't beat the You mean up. fought from range. Sorry, continue. <laughs> you, you, see, you see that one kind of causes his eyes Ouch. to flare, and you see he's kinda, his gauntlet digs into the table a little bit before he continues. He goes... <sighs> One good thing I'll say about the Republic, though, is they came to their senses and outlawed you to tea. So, eh, neither one of us are doing too hot right now, my friend. Uh, <laughs> uh, but he says, we lost that war. I know we lost that war. My brother, uh, the old Mandalore, know we knew we lost that war. I don't want to go back to war with the Republic. He, because we, right now, we'll lose again. But... Okay. Well, that's that, that that works out for both of us, because we don't we would rather not you go to war with us because you're busy for that. Well, yeah, we got we got stuff going on. <laughs> we got stuff. <laughs> got stuff like this things. big long list of things. Oh man, Iceless would actually chip in. Uh, funny enough, he said, "We all know Iceless, no idea what he's talking about." <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she would chip in if I could. Hopefully, I can get this voice right. It's been a while, yeah. It has been a long while. Uh, from what it sounds like, it, it seems as though whoever is puppeteering this new Mandalore, as you call it, is trying to kill two birds with a single stone. Weaken the Republic. Get rid of anything that could stand in their way. That being you, M Mandalores. Mandalorian. See him kind of scratch his chin and goes, You may be right. 
uh, the GT are gone, the Mandalorians are gone, uh, whoever this puppet is, this force user, uh, he wouldn't have much to fear. Uh, not much that can stand against you all outside of uh, the, pride and pr the, the pride and true of uh, Mandalore. It would seem causing infighting amongst the this new group would only succeed this puppeteer's goal. If we allow the Mandalorians to destroy each other, then we have done its work for it. I have a question. Uh, first of all, what what do I know about Terrus? Like, uh, do I know what happened on Terrus? Yes, and... you guys all fought in the war. Uh, actually, no, he hasn't fought in that war, but you, you guys are all citizens of the galaxy. You would have heard that Terrus got bombed to hell during uh, the Civil Wars. That's putting it lightly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so my my question to the Mandalore is, uh, what what is the significance of Terrus in this? It seems to be a very odd place for this uh, meeting of the Mandalorians. It just seems out of place. Like, why not? Um... Oh man! Did you see him kind of pull up a galactic map as you speak? Uh, and uh, let me get my little marker out. Uh, it, he uh, it basically says it's convenient. Uh, the Republic doesn't have much of a presence out there after uh, Malik bombed it uh, back to the Stone Age. Uh, and it's a stone's throw away from Mandalore. Because uh, mm. where is my little circle thing? Because uh, Mandalore is here, and Terrace is right here. I really need to get my intergalactic geography up the snuff because. <laughs> It just looks like a bunch of spaghetti. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, quick. I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh yeah, so yeah, I made him look in purple. So yeah, it should be kind of pretty much right next to each other. Oh yeah, I see him. When that's pointed out, Isleth would ha would be very uncomfortable with how close Terrace is to Dathomir. Not true, it's pretty close there too. <laughs> yeah. Um... So, so Pink kind of comes forward and uh, says, you know, I might not know much about the Mandalorian honor code, so maybe you will enlighten me, but maybe we don't have to necessarily fight this battle through physical strength. What if the new Mandalore won his fight by drawing on the power of the Force? Would the Mandalorians follow him still? They won't follow a GT. Uh, they, they want a true Mandalorian uh, to be their leader. And then Pink kind of smirks and goes, ah, I see, but the uh, this honor code that you follow, it, it, it's also a weakness. All we have to do is prove that he's a GT. <laughs> and I'll kind of mock the accent a little bit and, then, uh, and be like, and uh, just remember that truth is relative. And then just uh, Pink just kind of shrugs and sits back down. Uh, you kind of see him confused for a second. How, how, would you, how would you make them believe that he is a GT? And then uh, I just kind of wave my hands around like he was doing earlier, and I say, magic. <laughs> <laughs> like, like uh, the Force can manipulate many things, including some their mind. Uh, you see him kind of wave and says, Good work, but some of us have uh, fought you all before. We, we do have some defenses against your mind tricks. It, it could be risky to make that our our prime prime bet. Yeah, and uh, so Ping will just kind of nod to that. And say it is true. I've never fought uh, the Mandalorians. I don't. I don't know how their minds work or the defenses they put around it. Dishonoring them could work, but I, I like the dishonor tactic. We'd, but we'd have to really, really, really run them through the mud if we don't defeat them. Uh, you'd have to make sure that nobody, nobody wanted to follow afterwards. What is it that you Mandalorians hate the most? Amongst all things, amongst your people, what must be done for them to be seen in such a light? 
that they are no longer even considered alive or even Mandalorian. See a pause and for a second and say, cowards. Uh, if you run from a fight, uh, lose your honor, leave your weapons, uh, no one follows a coward in, in Mandalorian society. Proof that this new Mandalore is a coward. Simple as that. So we might not even need to beat him. We just need to get him to run. Which is easier said than done, but <laughs> it's an idea. No, we don't need to get him to run. We just need to get people to think that he ran. Very the magics are very good for deception, but like he said, some are <laughs> apparently quicker to catch on. So, caution will be needed. And then Ping will just kind of shrug and says, or we do the stabby thing. <laughs> you see him kind of nod and smile says, however you all want to play. Uh, dishonor him, stab him, uh, push him out of airlock. Uh, as long as he's dead, no longer leading the troops, uh, we think we can right the ship. Uh, hell, uh, if one of you all want to challenge him, that's on you. Uh, but we just need him taken care of. Uh, if I had been playing Gil right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, out of character, um, it, it is the the storyline of, of Revan taking the mask and essentially hiding the mask to distribute the clans. Is that uh, is that like a, th a thing? Is the mask a, a relic? Or is that not part of the... Oh, it is, uh, but he gave it to Kandros at this point, and Kandros yeah. lost it. Because he got killed. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, how you lose? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, Devourer has the mask after uh, killing uh, Kandoros in the duel. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Okay. And would that be lore that I assume the Mandalorians would know? Yeah. I, like oh, my yeah. My personally, Ping wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> but the Mandalorian, okay. Vindicate definitely would let you guys in on that. Uh, they kind of refound the mask after Revan, uh, after Kandros's trips or kind of adventures with Revan, uh, and that's kind of how he used to initially rally the clans, became Mandalore the Preserver. Yeah. So Ping would uh, suggest the alternative plan. I say, how about we do the stabby stabby thing, and then you can have the mask. You see him not go. That would that would, that would be agreeable. Uh, we think that could work well. Uh, well, either way, you all want to do it. If you want to stab, if you want to manipulate, uh, you guys got to get on the planet. Oh, and actually, before this piece, Ren, does you ha does Ren have anything on her armor that identifies her as Clan Ren, or is it just uh, kind of a pretty nondescript Mandalorian armor when it comes to the Clan? Yeah, piece? she definitely did, but not anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right off the uh, the symbol or whatever you call it. So. <laughs> He'll continue on that side, uh, and he kind of look over uh, to Ren uh, and go, the Mandalores put the call out for all Mandalorians. Uh, they're assembling uh, a group on terrorists. They're taking mercenaries, bounty hunters, uh, people who've given up after the war. Any Mandalorian that could hold a blaster, they're bringing in. Uh, so fortunately, they know us. They know our faces. We can't get in that way. Uh, but you lot, you're unknown. You may be able to slip in uh, and just with the general recruitment drive. Uh, he looks over to uh, Ul and Noru uh, and Ping, and actually pretty much everyone outside of it says, you all may need some armor or something to kind of choose yourselves up a little bit so nobody thinks you're GT or Rancor hoarders or whatever the criff you all are. Uh, but if you can get on planet, uh, at least get there uh, without them shooting you down and make them believe that you're recruits, uh, you could get access to it. Uh, you see him kind of pull up uh, his helipad again. Uh, he goes, from what we've heard, uh, your mother uh, is the one doing evaluations. Uh, so people How on cautious. planet, <laughs> uh, she's uh, the one kind of making determinations on where people are routed to kind of what their skill levels are and where they're being slotted in the devourer's army uh if you yeah that sort of tracks she was always judgy <laughs> yes, i heard she was one tough one uh, a little cold yeah. for my taste 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so if you uh, can get on planet, uh, depending on how y'all want to do it, uh, she has access to the Devourer's flagship. So if you can impress her, get her to add you onto the flagship, or even find a way to steal her credentials and get yourselves onto the flagship, uh, that may be the easiest way for you to get through there without having to shoot up the whole place. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, as much as I hate to admit it, I, I do like the idea of us hiding out as Mandalorians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, d does he uh, offering to, to lend us some, some armor to put on? I have to... We did just get a bunch of money, so <laughs> to be fair. Uh, you see, he, he shrugs and goes, ah, always said your titi needed some armor. Take one on me. See how you like it. Wow. Don't have to I worry guess. about blocking so much with your little laser swords. <laughs> um, as a as an aside, real quick, I mm -hmm. did do a, a little blunder, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pull back because. I made my choice. Uh, I forgot hunting rifles have a strength requirement. So... Oh, you can have switched up uh, if you want to do something different for that. Because I... everyone would know that the strength requirement yeah. is. Well, I think what I'm going to end up doing is that I can get, because I got a premium uh, chassis, I can get a recoil dampener. Oh, yeah. So I think I'm just going to wait. wait until we get an opportunity to, you uh, know. Did you buy a hunting rifle? Don't you still have kill something life rifle? Yeah, but we were gonna give that to someone. Oh yeah, that is that's yeah. fair. But yeah, so I'll I I just noticed that and then uh yeah, so just to clarify, I'm gonna look out for a recoil dampener. They sell those there, there if you wanna buy one. Yeah. If you have cash left over. Otherwise I say he would, he would um, loan you some I guess money it's time though, if you needed it. Cause that'd be uh what would that be? Uh, cause it'd be the same roll thing, but half the price due to being a modification if you wanted to buy one. Oh, can you say that again? I cut out, I think. Oh, definitely. So, yeah, so if you wanted to buy one, it'd be the same roll that you did for the sniper rifle, uh, but cut in half due to, uh, okay. being a modification. Cool. Um, yeah, and can I, uh, no, I guess not. I was gonna say, I don't, yeah, I don't have a ton of money left cause I, rolled really poorly on my first one. <laughs> uh, ping will spot whatever you need as a loan. Okay. I <laughs> appreciate gotta charge it. 20 I'll, interest. I'll make a... Oh, that's, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> I'm not much of a finance person. I do more... Yeah. No, more shit based got, stuff. I'm not anything for about this. Okay. Okay, cool. We'll try that again. So, and then it's whatever this is split in half. So... 2d8, get the highest one, command these whole things, come on, okay, cool beans, so I currently have not that much, <laughs> okay, I think I have 1,884 in my inventory right now, uh, so, I'll just, I'll loan you two, 2,000, that should cover it, right? I think How much so. did it come out to? Let me get my calculator out here. <laughs> oh, it's not great. Half too. Okay. So oh, it's yeah, it's oh, yeah, it's cut in half. half. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So 750 divided by two. So, uh, oh no. So I have 1500 credits and then I think I am good. So I have, I don't know why I did this, but I, uh, have 1500 credits just in my loot tab, I guess. Oh, uh, okay. and then I have another 384 in my actual correct place so that should be fine yeah you know guys i'm thinking we should invest our credits into like like a what is it a well share or a, um, timeshare timeshare let's get a timeshare you know <laughs> get your own little private treehouse on ducks <laughs> um, yeah i like that actually <laughs> okay cool nice i have nine credits left <laughs> cool <laughs> Okay, thank you for that. Sorry, I had to make that more complicated. Oh yeah, no worries, man. I was like, oh man. Okay, cool. See. Right. So he goes out. We'll get you guys armor. Uh, just uh, you ready? You know how to deal with the people. Uh, but you guys, 
try to keep that force poodoo down. Uh, they think you're outsiders or a uh, they may they may get a little hostile. Uh, but if you could go in there, either I don't, I don't care how you do it once you get there. Uh, but either press them, kill them, hide them, do what you like. Uh, but once you get on board the ship, uh, he passes you a little hollow transmitter. Signal this. Uh, what we want you to do, uh, outside of, uh, if you go on the ship to kill him, uh, if you could, disable his guns, because we want to take that dreadnought intact. Uh, so if you make it that way, if you kill him off ship, eh, fine, we'll deal with that later. Uh, but if you get on the ship, we'd be eternally grateful if you can help us, uh, get a little free dreadnought as well and make sure it doesn't get lost in the conflict. I think we'll do our best to figure it out, figure out if we can get, if we can off him on the ship, but, uh. <laughs> see what we can do. Would would I know any place in an... <laughs> I have proficiency with demolitions, kids. Um, <laughs> would I know any parts of the, sh like, engines or things that you can destroy to leave a ship inoperable? Maybe not Probably. inoperable, but, like... Worst comes to worst, you can... We can work together on this one because I feel like Ren would have insight into ship layouts as well. You're yeah, and I can I can do the boom. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys uh, with some good plan. roles, you could probably know uh, some areas uh, on the ship, either with uh, the engine <laughs> rooms or with uh, the reactors. Uh, they may be able to trip it to. Uh, uh, should you try to blow it up or make it inoperable? I'm trying to disable the ship. Uh, yeah. So Something. you can. Something fixable, I guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to just like, haha, no ship for you guys, but I want to basically make it to where we can either shut the power off or kill the engines to where they, it would, it would take at least a decent amount of time. Dynamic lighting. Sorry. Um, uh, it would take a decent amount of repair for them to get the ship back up and running. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that sounds like a good plan to yeah. me. And so Ping would just add in and say that, and of course there'll be compensation after you receive this dreadnought for all the hard work we've done. Assuming we can get it. <laughs> Assuming we can get it. Did you, you see a point to Ping? It says this one makes sense. Uh, you, you Jedi, going all the way, doing all this for free just to serve the galaxy. Ah, no, you take a job, you ask for your pay, you go about your day. Uh, yeah, if you get the dreadnought for me, we'll have some credits. We'll make it worth your while. Just gonna look over to Ring. I was like, he even made it rhyme. <laughs> that is impressive. It's one of the Mandalorian superpowers. You know, we have to take a whole class on it. <laughs> So he goes, uh, you guys got the plan? Uh, anything you all need from us before we go? I'll have some of my boys bring the armor up for you. Do you have any explosives that I can have and arm with a remote detonator on hand? I bought, like, some mines, thinking maybe something a little bit more might be nice. Uh, you can see him shrug. Ah... Uh... So you got some mines, uh, let me see, uh, you got to look through a little low on other explosives since the, uh, the big fight, they took a lot of our stock with them, uh, but you guys see him rough through his own pack, uh, I'll give you guys a breaching charge, uh, you can take that hey. in with you, uh, and cause a little bit of chaos for him. <laughs> chaos is guys. some of these people's middle names, guys, I'm sure. <laughs> what if? What if, and this is just a point, we just put the breacher on the outside of the ship, and then we turn it on, and then we walk away, and then boom, and then alien, like, space oh. and death. For the dreadnought on the outside of the ship? I assume that thing's built like the Titanic, a yeah. couple different yeah. layers there. Yeah, Might take a, a little bit. You'll see it like an explosion, but it'll be okay. <laughs> Uh, so that door is inside the ship. Uh, you may be able to blow like the interior. There might be the like door. a hatch door. I don't know, <laughs> no. like just this one door on the brig. Oh man, they totally forgot about that one door. <laughs> mm. Maybe if we had the drill, like like a Star Wars style huge drill, we just 
Start turning yeah. it on on the side. Any of, you, any of you guys got any thermite lying around? <laughs> I'll find at home. <laughs> ah, thermite. No, um, but that breacher charge would probably be good. Be good. I'd, I'd, I'll, I'll, I'll figure something out to do with the breacher charge. So I can hook you up with that. Uh, yeah, so it goes. You got the holocom? Call us in when you're ready. Uh, we'll come in and help you mop up any additional resistance on the dreadnought. Uh, and then you guys can go fly around the galaxy doing whatever the crip you were before you came here. <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so that's a heel kind of a, uh, get you guys the armor. Uh, so he comes with a couple of different options for you guys. Uh, basically, these are all just going to be kind of a standard armor, but you can find them in light, medium, or heavy. Uh, so any of the classic PHB, light, medium, or heavy armors, you guys can utilize those uh, as part of your disguise. Actually, don't think I can wear anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you can. It's just gonna yeah. suck. Is there anything that's yeah. like a cut? Yeah. Yeah. What essentially, cosmetic. Here? Light armor. I can okay. make you look like a Mandalorian with a disguise kit. Yeah. I guess. What is the the penalty for uh for a counselor to wear to wear armor? Because uh, like, I'm not like proficient. I think you can't cast with that. That's Let me something. Check. Yeah. Yeah. It's either can't cast or can't concentrate. I'm fairly certain it's can't cast though. Uh, so they could definitely get you kind of a, a helmet uh, and a little cloak they can throw on just to kind there you of go. <laughs> can't you... drape it over. <laughs> yeah. Can't you ship shape or some weird stuff? Ship -shape. I, I can, but I can't. Um, I can't turn it into armor. Fleshy armor. <laughs> yeah. He I can this, uh, just physically look like a Mandalorian. I was just a little concerned of like the plan for getting Kirk in there. She thinks she's going to be <laughs> able to get Kirk in there. It's just oh she God. doesn't know how. <laughs> <laughs> you will have Simit say, uh, uh, you know, records are cool. I don't know how you're going to convince them that uh, you guys have your own pet one without some force nonsense, but uh, mm -hmm. you don't, you all do you. <laughs> I'm just uh, imagining yeah. this big rancor with this tiny little Mandalorian helmet on top. Just be like, he doesn't talk much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can just make him invisible. Actually, I think Kirk does have invincibility. Let me check. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he I, does. Yeah. Force camouflage. You're gonna have to. <laughs> you're gonna have to like walk really loudly. I don't know what kind of excuse you're gonna have for that. I actually have invisibility. I have improved force camouflage too, so I can make someone else invisible. Okay. And. <laughs> well, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure how well uh, a. A giant uh, Thorian's gonna look walking around. Yeah. You just need two helmets, one for each. Listen, lifestyle. listen. <laughs> He's great and all, but I remember that sound is also a, a factor and size. <laughs> in, in this time period, are Mandalorians only human or are they also alien? No, I was actually going to mention that, too. Uh, so, probably not a lot of Athorians, uh, but Mandalorians, at this point, they're no longer the, the Tong species. Yeah. Uh, they're mostly just recruits. Like, they are people that are kind of adopted. It's more of a culture than a race now, so it could be any species, really. Yeah, because I remember that there was, like, this one time period where they're like, anybody can be Mandalorian, and then they went, like, <laughs> that was a terrible idea, only human. <laughs> Oh, no, because it's always been. So it's the Tong really? species and then uh, it, anybody because oh. they went extinct around Nowish. So mm -hmm. a little bit earlier. I think they went extinct during, right before or during the Mandalorian Wars or something like mm. that. Okay. It's like, what kind of charge did you give me? Breacher charge, you said? Breacher charge? I can't find it on the website. I can't anymore. find it on the website either. So. It used to be on there. Is it, would, would it be adventure gear charge fragmentation? Oh, we, yeah, we could use that. Uh, it used device to be a used to blow holes in large constructs and structures. 
A breaching charge creates a devastating explosion with a focus down a specific direction. Stalling a breacher charge lasts one minute. The charge can be set with a six second timer or using a remote detonator. When detonating the breacher charge, each creature within the cone takes 20 D 20 D4 kinetic damage. <laughs> Guys, I found the way to kill him. It's the real big boom. Real you gotta get boom. real close. Yeah, we no. just like put him to sleep, sit on there, and like <laughs> just, walk away. All right. yeah. <laughs> Guys, How long is this? I sort of wanted to keep this in my back pocket, but <laughs> I I do have I've been working on this new thing where I can basically cause an opponent's armor to glow like crazy hot. It's gonna be great. I guess the whole Mandalorian. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gonna be. Yeah. My helmet. Yeah, that's the greatest spell ever because you're like, how long does it take to take? I'm gonna take my heavy armor off. Be like, okay, that'll take twenty rounds. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was really on the fence when I was picking it because I'm like, well, I have, you know, as a scout, I really want to prioritize target lock, but ultimately, if I get an opportunity to, you know. <laughs> to cast overheat it's over I'm just, I'm just so happy that I finally have sneak attack I'm like I can deal two dice <laughs> um, yeah. so would that would that fragmentation uh, charge work oh yeah that works perfect yeah I forgot they knew we named it so yeah it's the same thing that old breaching charge used to be okay charge fragmentation oh. I'm gonna use Malasia and then you're gonna take the breaching charge and just daisy chain every explosive you have. <laughs> and we're gonna close her and put our fingers in our ears. Uh, we're gonna go to Wiley Coyote. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, if it works, it works. It works. It... <laughs> There's no ship left, but it works. <laughs> well, that matters. Uh, oh, uh, oh, so I guess back character. Uh, uh, Ping would ask Ren. Um, I just thought of this, sorry for that. Uh, ask Ren, uh, in Mandalorian history, was there ever a time where you used real melts? I know they use the, the robotic basculas now, but in the traditional days of Mandalorian history, did they use melts? And what were those melts? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> I'm not oh, sure. Yeah. Wait, yeah. was it actually the, the real basculus back when they were, weren't extinct because they, they used were hunted to... down by the mammal? Oh, were they a real animal? Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, they, yeah. they were. They, they were, they were like animal for a little some while. kind of like wyvern riders. Yeah, yeah I thought that's they. I thought they had dragons it, or something. Yeah. <laughs> in ancient in ye old days, yeah. I'd be like, ah, you could always pass the ring car off as a mount. That seems like a Mandalorian thing to do. Although you might get a little too much attention by doing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, anything else you guys want to ask uh, the um, uh, Ben before you guys leave? Is there anyone else that we should be, I don't know, alert of or weary of? Uh Other than most of the people. You see him shrug and goes, ah, most everybody aged to tea, so keep that on the low. Uh, but otherwise, most of the people just want their homeworld back. Uh, if you could take down the uh, the Mandalore, uh, maybe, uh, you see, kind of uh, gives a shrug to Red, at least keep an eye on your mom. Uh, you all should be okay. <laughs> yep. Sounds like a wise decision. Uh, yeah, I'm good to go. Well, one thing, uh, one group though, to keep an eye out for too, uh, the, the Cassius clan. Uh, that's where Mandalore the Devourer kind of hails from. Uh, they're they're going to be kind of diehard supporters. Uh, a lot of them are on the Dreadnought. Uh, he usually keeps most of his he keeps his family close around him. Uh, so if you do come across the Cassius, uh, just just be wary if you're going to start talking crap about the Mandalore. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> I don't pl I don't plan on doing that. <laughs> uh, sweet.
Indeed. So, uh, any, uh, so, uh, so basically, uh, after that, uh, you are able to kind of load up on your ship uh, and begin the, the journey over to uh, Terrace. Uh, so it's a couple day hyperspace journey, uh, but eventually you do come out into the system uh, and you see just a system of buzz. So kind of similar to the, the hollow projectors you saw from Ven's room. Uh, you see a lot of smaller ships, some small frigates, uh, some one man fighters, some uh, medium ships just kind of all zooming in and zooming out uh, around just a, a couple of dreadnoughts. Some of them look to be pretty heavily restored. Looks like they've seen some damage and are kind of been pulled out of the junkyard or scrapyard. Uh, uh, but one of them stands out in the middle, uh, and that one seems to be pretty well maintained. It looks uh, almost fresh off the line, uh, and that's where you guys know uh, is kind of the flagship where uh, Mandalore the Devourer is kind of spending his time. Uh, once you guys arrive in system, you hear kind of a gruff voice on the other end go, State your business. What brings you to Tatis? Uh... Uh, I'm assuming I'm I'm there, yeah. Oh, <laughs> right up it, there. It, yeah. It, it's in Mandalore. Sorry, it's, it's, I should have said it. it's in Mandoa as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'll say uh, in Mandoa, just uh, here to join the good fight. <laughs> uh, you see, you've got a, uh, the, the projection nod. Uh, you see, you got all the armor. It goes good. We we need more we need more fighters. We need more Mandalorians here. Uh, bring your ship into these coordinates. Uh, we'll sort you into processing after that. Don't try anything funny, though. My boy's got a itchy trigger finger right now. Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> you see him nodding, going, yeah, that's true, Vote. Uh, I've been too boring out here lately. <laughs> yep, I know. I know how it is. <laughs> it's just, just no boring. Nothing's happening anytime. Nothing's <laughs> happening, huh? Nothing. <laughs> And you see, uh, they kind of give you a little uh, pathway or a little <laughs> landing zone down there. Uh, you see it's kind of in the, the middle of a, a central encampment. Uh, that's where they're kind of directing your ship uh, to touch down. Yep. Just going right for it. Not trying to cause any hassles yet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind us here. <laughs> yeah, we're just hanging out. <laughs> we don't want any problems yet. <laughs> no, no. Did you just say yet? Um, no, I mean, we don't want any problems, period. Ever. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys are able to make it uh, down. You land in the encampment. Uh, you see kind of numerous small ships uh, within the, the landing zone. Uh, and around them, you see just different camps. Uh, you see just numerous Mandalorians walking around, armors of all colors. Uh, some of them seem to be doing like training drills. You see kind of a shooting range on one side. Uh, you see others kind of training with uh, vibro blades and uh, as well as uh, daggers doing some kind of uh, melee orientation. Uh, you see it's, it's a war camp kind of preparing to go to battle. Uh, and after you guys land, you do see a Mandalorian uh, in blue and gray armor uh, standing outside uh, of the ship waiting for you guys to descend. Ah, uh, home sweet home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll uh, disembark and lead the lead the folks. <laughs> is there a way I can? Is there any like uh, alternative ways off of the ship that I could maybe just like jump off and like hide away while the rest of the guys are getting uh, processed? Uh, definitely. So you could try to uh, kind of sneak out uh, the backboard, uh, kind of go through a little hatch in the ship and see if you could get out unnoticed. Can I try to do that? Perfect. All right. Give me a stealth roll. Stealth check. Don't fail me now. <laughs> Didn't fail me yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice. Uh, so you are able to slip out uh, the hatch unnoticed uh, and kind of make your way to some cover uh, among the other ships. Okay. Is there anybody else around me? Are we, like, the only ones in, like, a solo docking area? Or are we on, like, a big strip of ships and it's just, like, a customs agent coming to, like, visit? So you guys are in like a, it's a big landing pad. So this is like a little makeshift landing area, area they made inside the war camp. Uh, so there are ships kind of all around here. Okay. All right. I'm going to 
I'm gonna nice. wait for a bit while these guys have a nice chat. So, <laughs> as, as like we're landing, I look around to the rest of the, the crew and I say, does anyone else have a clue of what anyone just said besides friend? No. <laughs> I said, I Hold think us. we didn't think this through. <laughs> <laughs> I need to check eyes list. The like... one person who has like all charisma is unable to speak to people. <laughs> yeah. Surprise, Ren's new on face. A second. Hold oh on a second. Uh, Pink, you have soundtrack and comprehend languages or whatever it's called in this system. Uh, I think it's a tech power for this one. Yeah, I don't have I don't have any anything for like there might be a force thing at higher levels. I don't have it. Oh, no, nah, I, I just saw it in the uh, conference speech is a force power at oh, a universal okay. first level, first level. <laughs> and with, uh, let me see if it's what I remember with soundtrack. Uh, you gain the ability to speak like another species. Dang. I need to speak in the language you know, but otherwise, like, oh, wait, never mind. It's for stuff like Wookiees and Biff. Uh, so you said I... that you're new. Still taking classes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Ool does. Be like, okay, Ren, Ren teach me one phrase. Real quick, teach me a phrase. <laughs> okay. Um, I say, okay, so this is how you ask for the bathroom. And then I say, <laughs> where's the bathroom? Mayama, <laughs> no room. <laughs> yeah, actually, Mandela's just Spanish. <laughs> I forgot to mention that in canon, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Donda is dust. Yeah, so you can see, like, Ping just sitting there reciting, like, go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so uh, as you guys uh, descend the, uh, out of the ship, uh, you see the the Mando in uh, the blue and gray armor kind of strides up and goes, "All right, you're here for the good fight. That's good. Uh, we got to figure out though, kind of if you actually can hold your weight. Uh, a lot of these Mandos uh, have been slacking since the war, so we got to make sure that you're not going to be dead weight to the crew. Uh, so." We've got different ways you can prove yourselves. Uh, we're happy to kind of direct you on that side. Uh, you see him kind of point to a uh, shooting range down uh, the way. Uh, he goes, yeah. we always want to see who can actually hit a target uh, bigger than the, uh, kind of the, the broad side of a Star Destroyer. Uh, so if you can get there, uh, shoot uh, some of our sergeants see so, uh, that may do something for your reputation in the camp. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you see him uh, point to a uh, little bit of a makeshift uh, arena uh, in the center. Uh, he goes, otherwise, uh, if you'd rather throw down with your fist, uh, we've got a good little wrestling uh, arena over there. Uh, you can kind of show your stuff, see if you could uh, kind of uh, pit or knock out any of the competition. That may earn you some acclaim as well. Uh, he also goes, uh, we also do uh, some light sparring there too. So a uh, little mock war games uh, where uh, we have uh, some squads go up against each other. Uh, and winning that, that's uh, definitely a good way to stand out. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, he goes, uh, other big thing too, uh, we've got uh, just uh, kind of sharing some of your old war stories with the others, uh, kind of some of the battles you've had in the past. Could be a good way to uh, get to build your rep, figure what clan you're from. Uh, and the only other big thing I'd mention too uh, is that uh, some uh, some idiot, some Deku, uh brought a crate dragon uh, and got loose uh, in the mountains on the planet. Uh, if you could deal with that, bring back its horns, yeah, that, that'll put you in good standing. I uh, was so just in the back, just like starting to bring out Kirk, just motioning oh to go God. back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but how how does this guy react to the rancor? Seeing a rancor in the doorway. So, so the rancor is like in the doorway of the ship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like coming out. So you see his hand drop to his blaster pistol. And he goes, "What the crip is that?" Uh, you see him kind of do a draw in one quick motion and kind of eye down. You guys brought a crip and a rancor. What, who has a rancor? What is this? 
<laughs> Isolus is You guys like... wanted to know how cool we were. We have Isolus a rank raised... core. <laughs> yeah. Isolus uh... raises her hand just like this is Do we need another do mouth. we need to have a explanation? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He is, m he is more well trained than many of your recruits, maybe. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, uh, all right. That is. You see him kind of, uh, he's still gripping the blaster. He goes, uh, those are big words. So you, you, you train that Rancor? Yes. You can do tricks and stuff. Look at him. <laughs> uh, so Keep see... in mind, he's armored, and his armor has massive spikes coming off of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> you see him kind of, uh, he still got his blaster raised and says, you could assure me that Crippet thing's not going to start taking recruits' heads off. Uh, I'd hate to have to put a blaster bolt in it. The only way he would is if they would were to attempt to first. Alright, uh, give me a persuasion check. Oh, gosh. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, so does anyone want to... <laughs> I, I was going to try and say beforehand that you should, like, start getting to do tricks or something that's why i was like oh he, he can do tricks look how well trained he is <laughs> wow do you uh, want to try to have him do a trick or would your trick be for him if you could have oh, a trick? actually i got the perfect thing uh just isolus just looking at him where is your biggest weapon okay uh, you see he goes we we got a uh, a little rotary cannon uh down the way why more of a... Hmm. Let me specify. Where's your biggest melee weapon? Oh, God. Uh, he goes, uh, a couple of the old school boys got some, uh, Beskar great swords. Uh, say probably one of those is the biggest, uh, just like a regular, a regular sword to this dude. A dagger, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just like, the, those are small, but they will do. And he'll just, <laughs> just like, just drove for to Kirk. He is, he is capable of wielding those with surprising efficiency, though he is used to more blunted weapons. Thinking about like trees. <laughs> you see, uh, the bad doe nan go. All right, I'll put you to that. Uh, you see, he got to tap his helmet. Uh, you don't hear anything, but you kind of see him moving his head as if he's stalking. Uh, and then eventually, uh, two, uh, two other Mandos, uh, in black armor come up, uh, with, uh, two great swords, uh, with them. Uh, and he goes, all right, the boys can sit to let your pet play with them. Show me what can you can do. What's, uh, what's, uh, what's, uh, Kirk gonna do with the great swords? Or great sword? We lose your ultra? Maybe. Yeah, I can't hear him. You there? Uh, Islith. Who is Lith? You may be no, on mute you might, if you're talking. You might to. be having mic problems. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I had everything problems. Everything I just noticed turned off. Uh, <laughs> I was grabbing a. I was handed a pizza, some pieces fell on the floor, sadly, and both my mic and headphones just stopped working for a second there. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, no worries. Uh, so uh, yeah, they bring out a great sword. Uh, they are two great swords if you want. Uh, and they hold them out to uh, Kirk and says, uh, show me what you can do with them. Can he wield two great swords? He is the large size. I don't know if you needed one or two, uh, so uh, they're gonna just bring it both for you. So in case you wanted uh, whatever he wants to do with them. How big are they compared to him? Uh, cause they're they're a great sword for a regular person, but with him being is he size large or size huge? Uh, I believe he's just large. I couldn't take you so way late. Yeah, he's size large. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, they'd be uh, kind of like a regular sword to him. In that case, yeah, he'll uh, he'll take one of them, uh, and uh, what kind of check can I make for him to do the motions almost like a martial art kind of like the same things uh, Isleth would use, 
but a lot juggling. more like a lot more primal because he doesn't got the right locomotion for it. Perfect. Uh, do you know? Uh, does he have athletics? Yes. Yeah, do an athletics check for it. Twenty. Nice. Uh, so, how does that look for him? Or... Uh, just large, broad sweeps, but surprisingly controlled. Uh, to the point where he may have even like made one towards some of the people who uh, brought him the sword, but stopped it right before it would even come close to hitting them. Like, in a very controlled manner, then keep going from there. Uh, you see, I, I uh... want to take a moment to realize they gave weapons to a <laughs> right. I was like, are they dumb? <laughs> it's a bad I feel like way. all the you Mandalorians that would have been able to get them, you know? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you see uh, the the guy in blue armor who you saw initially. Uh, you can't see his face, but you see him kind of clapping along. Uh, and then when one of them, uh, when you see, he kind of does that paint towards uh, the guys in the, the black armor that brought the sword. Uh, you see one of the guy kind of flinch and jump back. Uh, you see the guy in blue go, <laughs> got scared by the rancor. All right, all right. Uh, it looks like it can hold its own. If it kills somebody though, that's on you. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, you know, some of these clans are a little testy. <laughs> she just goes, Trust me, I would be more likely to kill someone than Kirk first. <laughs> uh, so that, that's the spirit, though. Save it for the Republic. <laughs> All right, let's go. You can see him uh, gesture. Well, the camp is yours. Uh, uh, you can walk around, get your bearings. Uh, but biggest thing you want to do now is if you want to have a good assignment and not be stuck uh, cleaning the latrine uh, is to make a name for yourself before the battle takes place. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's let's huddle up. <laughs> uh, you see uh, all three of the Mandalorians gonna go back into the camp afterwards. Okay. So, we have the, the fisticuffs. We have the shooting range. We have the storytelling, the crate dragon. I think that's it. Question mark. There was war games as well. Oh, and then war games. Yeah. So, listen. I think. You know, obviously, I can do the, the shooting range, but maybe. Uh, we could do the crate dragon as well. I figure, go hunt that down. Hunt a crate something. dragon. Yeah, it's easy enough. Isleth is interested in the war games, and having never heard of a crate dragon before, is also a little interested in it, but also a little afraid of it. <laughs> Can I pet it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, was the uh, was the initial conversation all in Mandoa, or were they using basic? Uh, so the, uh, they uh, probably started in basic, but then or, sorry, started in Mandoa, uh, but then seeing that only Ren spoke it fluently, uh, switched to basic. Uh, so one okay. of the things you guys will realize too with a lot, and Rin probably would actually already know that yeah. too, uh, is a lot of the, like the new recruits or the kind of the new people that are inducted into the culture may not have already, always have a big grasp on the language yet. Uh, okay. So it's not unusual to switch back to basic for those who don't speak it. You do kind okay. of get looked down upon though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ren wants to do shooting range and a uh, crate dragon. Perfect. Well, let's go to the shooting range first. So you see kind of a large shooting range with Mandalorians kind of arrayed around it, uh, sporting uh, numerous different types of weapons. Some going uh, old school and using some slug throwers, others using blaster rifles. Uh, they, they've kind of got a, just weapons around. Uh, you see uh, a guy in gold armor. Uh, seems like he's kind of watching the recruits uh, and noting down in his data pad. Uh, kind of giving them all a score as they've gone through. Uh, and for this game, uh, so I've got to give you a run through, or out of game, I'll give you a little run through of how the mini game is going to work. Uh, so for this one, uh, you can take three shots. Uh, it's kind of like a little bullseye type thing. Uh, so you're going to roll uh, your, uh, so you're going to roll your modifier. Uh, hold on, where did I put that? So you're going to roll a, a D12 uh, plus your dex modifier. Okay. Uh, is that right? Uh, D12. Oh, sorry. D12 plus a D6 plus your dex modifier. Uh, 20 plus bullseye. 
18 to 19, uh, kind of second on there. And the bullseye is worth 50 points. 18 to 19 is worth 40 points. 15 to 17, 30 points. 13 to 14, 20 points. Uh, then uh, 10 points and then five points for anything less than that. Okay. And you said a D12 plus what plus my dex modifier? So a D12 plus a D6 in your dex modifier. Okay. Sweet. Um... So, so yeah, they kind of uh, gesture to you guys, and you guys can, uh, whoever wants to take the shooting challenge can give it a go. Uh, there are going to be two other, Mandalor- or two other Mandalorians that you're competing against uh, as okay. well. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I'll do this one. I don't know if anyone else... Now I have a question, and this mm-hmm. this can this can lead into a joke that might actually pull through. Uh, <laughs> throwing weapons is that allowed in the shooting range? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, if, if you had like knives and things like that, uh, they may uh, give you a little bit of a weird look. But if you can hit it, they'll give you some uh, respect for it. And with throwing fiber daggers and that, since it's a finesse weapon, you don't have to use your dex, right? Oh, yeah, you, you, yeah you, you, if you're throwing, you, you don't have to use your dex. You can use it if you like. Uh, are you going to try to have the Rancor throw a, a knife? Kirk and <laughs> Isaac are going try? to do go to separate <laughs> sides and start working their way towards <laughs> each other. <laughs> I was wondering, like, why would the monk not want to use Dex? And then yeah, I'm that's like, so <laughs> weird. <laughs> okay. Like, that then just must be a so small. With them, <laughs> like, going to separate sides. <laughs> yeah, just reach right in the knife bin, I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, the- with uh, one of the luckily one of the the other gold uh, Mandalorian or black Mandalorian armors you saw earlier that show, saw the vibro thing, uh, you can you see the guy in gold armor goes, I'm not gonna evaluate a beast. Get that thing the crap out of here. Uh, and one of the guys in the black armor goes, Hey, hey Vodi, you gotta see this. I, I saw the thing. It almost took off uh, buddy over there's head, uh, but it controlled itself. Uh, give, give it a shot. Uh, and he goes. <laughs> What the crap? Do, do what you want to. Uh, <laughs> let you guys go. Worst comes uh, to worst, you get a good show, right? <laughs> um. True. Uh, he goes, if the, if the red core stabs somebody, though, that, that, that that's your shabs. <laughs> <laughs> worst comes to worst, you get your butt whooped by a animal. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, who, who wants to go first? Perfect. That's Ultra, you get... you're a little subwoofery. <laughs> That's that's not me. I hear that. Uh, oh, okay. okay. All right. Uh, yeah. So whoever's running. So right now we've got uh, Ren, two Mandos, uh, as well as Kirk and his Uh So it sounds like that's the crew. We'll uh, the same modifier for this. Perfect. Uh, let me just put this up there so we got it. Because you do roll initiative first. Too. I forgot to mention that. Uh-huh. Uh, so uh, roll initiative. Okay. You're gonna have to put down a token for that now. Oh, sorry, I'm on a different map, and I just realized that <laughs> <laughs> but that's not showing up for you guys. Yeah, uh, I was like, huh? There we go. So we go back to the main map. Uh, you should see the initiative order now too. I always forget God. that it gets weird when I'm on different maps. Uh, um, let me just do. I'm. Ren is gonna just like blast it away on the first shot. <laughs> I'm. Don't jinx me, man. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, While they're doing this, I want to be like looking around the camp to see if I can see any anything. I want to, I want to, I want to get a, a feel for the the place. Oh, definitely. Uh, so, uh, huh. what, what's uh, yeah. Noru looking for? Like, is a uh, why is that five hundred and ninety? <laughs> yeah. I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of dick huh. has he got? <laughs> wow. Oh, what did I put in there? What? Oh, that's not... why I had a typo. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, he has a, a D1000. 116 dex uh, versus a 16. Uh, so let's re roll him on that one. Uh, uh, there we go. So that's a little bit more manageable. I'm gonna. Um, oh, actually. Uh. 
I want to try and use responders routine. Uh, oh, I don't think it's popping up, is it? There it is. Uh, do, 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 do. And I'm not expecting advantage on my rolls, but I just want to be able to add some proficiency bonus to my initiative. And I would do the same, but I don't know if uh, Islith is within five feet of me, so. Yeah, so uh, they kind of have it spaced out. So got a little shooting range, so she's probably a little bit further away. Okay. Uh, especially if she's going opposite sides of uh, Kirk too. So yeah, uh, probably down the range a little bit. So uh, what would that bump your initiative up to? Or... Uh, twenty-four because I have a three proficiency. Perfect. Yeah. So Red's up first. Uh, <laughs> so uh, take your three shots. Uh, so remember, it's one d twelve plus one d six plus your dex. All right, here goes nothing. Come on, good rolls. Oh, nope. Okay. Uh, so 10. So first shot you get off, uh, you do get five points for it. So you're up to, to five right. points. It's that outer edge of the target. Cool beans. <laughs> I, I just had to ask. Hope you guys are. <laughs> are you guys? I would hope you. Mine is, mine, mine, is, mine is a tiny one, so I can hide mine. Yeah, I'm worst comes to worst. I'll just say that I <laughs> took it off some dead I took Jedi. it off a dead yeah, Jedi. Like, hey. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, and give me a new head. All right, uh, sweet. So uh, your first shot, you got a plus five. And let me put a little post for this, just so I just don't forget everybody's thing. So yeah, Ren, that's recording mine five. either way. So <laughs> making sure. All right, uh, the other Mando is up. Uh, let's see, that's. Uh, so you see him kind of go up, uh, he has his blaster rifle, uh, it takes a shot, uh, you see him kind of hit uh, just outside of the uh, kind of the, the, the center range by the bullseye, gets in that third tier, uh, and he gets 30 points. Alright. Isolith, you're up. Run by me how this works just one more time, so I oh. got it right. Roll up. D12. And a D6, and add your proficiency. Or uh, your your Dex. Uh, you could use strength for uh, for what's his name. Uh, Kirk. Uh, so that's proficiency plus that, or just the base. Oh, just the one D12 plus the one D6, and then your mod. Yeah. D12 plus one D6. And this will be the same for for both of them. Uh, oh. So, uh, is the uh, tie in with Ren there? No. Oh. Come on, big chonkers. You got this. Let's see how Kirk goes. Well, not, but like after. Oh wait, does uh, Kirk go on the end of Isolus or? No. It's... Oh no, yeah, I forgot. We should... oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, no, it's the guard first. first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My bad, I forgot about that. Uh, all right. Uh, so this guy is up. And six, three. All right. You see, he shoots. This guy's not as trained as the other. Uh, you see, the bolt goes uh, a little wider. Uh, and he gets. 20 points. Alright, uh, Kirk is up. Oh. <laughs> Kirk is leading the show, or not leading the show yet, but uh, definitely He's tied, yeah. tied <laughs> with it. Uh, so you guys, uh, how does, uh, you describe how Kirk looks doing that. <laughs> As he, like, picks up this tiny little dagger, not even bigger than his claw, he has it pinched between his thumb and forefinger, and he rears it back, using his entire body, and, like, just the length of his arms going all the way back, oh, and yeets it, dead, like, as hard as he can. Whatever's getting hit by that is getting hit by that. <laughs> You see the blade goes deep into the target, uh, and one of the Mandalorians kind of shouts, ah, did better than you over there, Val. Uh, and then you see uh, one of the, the Mandalorians kind of hangs his head. It's like, I, I got this. It's the beginner's luck. The record won't beat me. Uh, 
<laughs> the rancor looks at him and just shakes his head. Like, nah. nah. <laughs> Alright, Rin, you're up. Uh, same thing. Okay, I'm trying to see if I can use anything to help me out here. And I... Defiant would work. Yeah, okay. I was looking at Sharpshooter's routine. Oh, but yeah. yeah. Okay, well, that's okay. For now, we'll just try it again. Nope. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, it's rough luck for Rid. Uh, she does step on the board, but uh, you do get a plus five for that, bumping you up to ten. I don't uh, know where my luck so man. Uh, roll 20 just not feeling you so far. Hmm. Alright, uh, the Mandoa guard is up. Just copy and paste this. Someone does like uh, like moves the target with the force. Like, yeah, oh no! It. Wait, uh, there's a plus missing. It only rolled a d12. Oh, did it only roll the d12? Yeah, it only rolled the oh, d12. Oh, I forgot to put it. Okay, just roll a d6. Then. Oh, he forgot to put at plus one d6 plus four. Uh, so he he gets uh, eleven. Yeah. So another plus five for that guy. So he's at uh, thirty-five. Uh, Elizabeth, you're up. Alright. 14. Nice. Okay. Uh, what does that put you? That's uh, 20 points here. Uh, so that puts you up to 25. Yeah. Alright. Alright, the, the guard steps up to the plate. A uh, little... Mm -hmm. Uh, soldier steps up to the plate, a little shaken after some of the, the ribbing, and just does a pretty poor roll. Uh, and just gets another uh, plus five to his score, and he's at 25. Uh -huh. Isleth is up. That's Kurt. Oh, is that Kurt? Did I skip Isleth? No, yeah, you did 25. No, he, right? he, yeah. he just rolled, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, Kirk, uh, so that's uh, Still 10 points. better than him? Yeah, so Kirk is in the lead actually right now. <laughs> <laughs> like the Rancor, just bellow laughing as he's like tossing the knife and looking at the guy. But it's towards the guy. Uh, you see the the other two Mandalorians like they're, they're, they're tweaking their sights, like they're, they're they're determined to have a strong last round. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> you're up. Yeah, I can't believe this, man. This is supposed to be the thing I'm good at. Yeah, well. You add a defiant onto it if you want. No, I'm going to use that for something else down the line. Alright. Uh, so that puts our red up to 30. Alright. Uh, Mandua guard is up. Uh, so he shoots. Uh, he kind of gets near the center, but still not close enough. Uh, he bumps up another 30. So he's at the lead right now with 65. And I think that's Isleth next. Yep, Isleth, you're up. Got it. Ooh, nine. <laughs> uh, so you just barely get on the, the target. Uh, you get another plus five, putting you at 30. Uh, soldier is up. Uh, he gets, I think that's another plus five, or so that's plus 10. Uh, so he gets uh, 35. You see, he kind of looks a little dejected uh, as he kind of finishes the shooting. You're telling uh, me, man. <laughs> uh, it's all down to Kirk now. Uh, so, uh... No! <laughs> okay, wait. I have Defiant, as I just remembered, because I'm human. But uh, does Kirk I... get to use Defiant? You could use Can Defiant use... on anybody within, I think, 30 yeah. C or within yeah. 30 feet, one of the two. Defiant. No! <laughs> Kirk, like, I imagine Kirk's, like, so busy laughing at the guy, like, he basically Jesus. drops it to just, like, just, I like, rolled under. back to Isolith, like, nah, he, he was done. I rolled under average on me. every dice roll except one. That was rough. I thought uh, we would have that one, but you guys I know! <laughs> I was expecting to have to use my attack modifier, which is significantly better. Something. Anything, proficiency. Uh, but 
the after the the things you guys do see the the guard is kind of crowd the the winner uh they kind of have a, she waved over to the gold armor guy and they start speaking uh the guy the black armor does kind of walk past us the record did pretty good for you guys at least uh and they kind of proceeds on his way well, Who had the most points i'm guessing you can't try again so <laughs> uh fortunately you guys can't try again for the rep uh but for having the most points uh it was the guard followed by kirk followed by the soldier and tied for last is this lift ran Yep. I don't understand why. I'm really salty about that. I'll be 100%. <laughs> that was a little rougher than I'd expected, but uh, you guys are able to yeah. clear that out. Uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, actually, uh, flip over. So, Noru, uh, so, yes, what were you looking for? What, are you, what kind of things is he keeping an eye out for as he's... Right now, I'm, I'm going to have Noru just looking for any information that might be needed at a later time. Like you can right be a now, bit more specific than that. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm uh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to look for anything uh, about the Mandalore, or because we're we're just on Terrace. Just I'm guessing trying to like in tryouts, trying to get you know some you know uh, means to get noticed. Maybe not by Mandalore, but. It, it, at very least, his, you know, honor guard or whoever, you know, picks and chooses whoever comes onto the ship and all that stuff. So, I'm going to see if there's anybody here on Terrace that, I don't know, might uh, be of note. Or, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to look for things. Uh, give me a perception check. Perception check. It's a good rule. Uh, let me see what I'm going to give you. Because um, you guys already know that Ren's mom is the one that kind of determines who's uh, going where. Uh, who all goes where, yeah. And the lieutenants are the ones that are kind of evaluating their, their progress. Um, with that rule, what I will give you is uh, kind of on the outside, uh, or kind of near... Uh, off center of the camp near some more heavy fortifications uh, Noru does see kind of a large building uh, most of the other camps seem like they're just kind of a it's a prefab building but most of the other camps are kind of the areas you see around seem to be tents or just kind of quick install uh, kind of dwellings uh, this looks like it's been built in a little bit fortified uh, you see some guards patrolling in and out of it uh, you do see a landing pad at the top of it uh, with a pretty sleek looking black and gold uh, Mandalorian skip ray ship. Hmm. Can I investigate further? Uh, well, what do you want to do? <sighs> do I want to just force camouflage? Do I want to just force camouflage? <laughs> no, I don't want to force camouflage. Um... All right, what are you thinking? <laughs> Time's ticking. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just regroup with the guys and All just right. say, hey, I found this heavily fortified, fancy place with a sail barge in case we need to, like... Go. Uh, so if you if you describe the the ship for you, uh, Rin, you would recognize that as your mother's ship. Uh, it's a ship that she's had throughout the wars, throughout probably most of your life. Uh, it's been kind of her pride and joy. Uh, so you'd recognize that as her personal ship. Yep, that's my mom's ship. Time for a family meeting. <laughs> Can I not introduce us? Come on, I mean like. Yes, that's correct. I'm going to not introduce you. Oh. <laughs> Sad. So, so what's it's not thing? until I have to. <laughs> so okay. One, was so what one else? Of the options like uh, like like war stories. It is, yeah. So I, I say, Ren, I say, hey, give me a name of a battle in like a clan or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Clan Ren. 
and um what was the battle that we were from the planet we were just at oh uh, uh the battle of the sun the moon of the heck is a real yeah. that's a good one that's a real hey, bloody battle i can battle. tell i can tell you real stories from duxon <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, so I tell him that plan ran Paladexon. like God. that one was a rough one <laughs> it was a rough one remember <laughs> yeah so he's like I, I can spin up a story about this uh, this Duxon Ren thing perfect uh, so you do see kind of like a, a little offside from the sharpshooter spot uh, it's like a little almost makeshift tavern you see people uh, pounding beers and drinks uh, and just telling kind of loud and like just rambunctious tales you hear you know, ah, I was killed a Jedi with my bare hands yeah believe me I, I did that uh, you see he got to hold up a, a little uh, cloak thing that looks like yeah, I, I took this as a trophy uh, you know the, the, the Jedi stood no chance against my life uh, so you just hear kind of random loud stories like that with them drinking and just kind of telling uh, just kind of uh, hyping themselves up a little bit I'm going to participate in this as well I have a plus one in charisma, and I probably should have joined in the last competition. But you know what? <laughs> We're doing fun in this campaign. All right. Uh, so, uh, which one of you guys wants to go first? Uh, basically, for this one, uh, it is going to be either persuasion, performance. Uh, actually, any of the charisma roles: persuasion, performance, deception. Your choice. Uh, with uh, kind of more points coming from just kind of the, the craziness of the story, uh, or kind of like, uh, the, the 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 action moviness, for lack of a better word to put it, uh, of your story. I'm gonna have one of my mandos go, so there'll just be one guy competing against you, uh, and. Uh, with uh, the, the story, you get more. The uh, better the story, the more points you get. Uh, you guys, highest point to an overall win. Though. I'm gonna use intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, you, I'll have my guy go last. Uh, you guys go first. All right, you go first, oh. Mr. Speaker Man. <laughs> yeah. So, so Ping will kind of walk in, and he'll pull out this uh, the cane because I have a, a cane saber. And I'll start by saying, ah, it was the Battle of Duxon. Our, our ship was off heading. They used the magics against us. Uh, and so we were crashing. So I, I dipped out of the plane 300 feet above the ground and snagged one of their robots. They call it a, an R2 something. And drove it to the ground and landed successfully. When I sprung up, there was three Jedi around me. And one of them had this cane. And I thought, why is this old man on the battlefield? And yet he opened it, and the saber turned purple. And I'll pull it apart, like, very dramatically. Yeah. And I'll say he was three foot tall and green, and he spun around <laughs> and jumped through the air. But he was no match for my athletics, because I knew that the young one was the weakness. So I immediately pulled my blaster and took a shot at what they call a Padawan. And the Jedi Master immediately went to defend him. And I pulled out my second blaster and popped him in the knee as his weakness was to fend for those who are weaker than himself, much against the Jedi code. And then I turned and, and faced down the third one with a hail of blaster fire, driving him back, and, and turned to face the, the Padawan who tried to lunge at me in revenge, and stuck him with my dagger from my knee, from my uh, bootstrap. And then the third one fled like the cowards they are, and I took this trophy, and then I put the cane saber back together and put it to my side. And I say the Battle of Duxon was bloody for many of you, but for me it was only for my foes. <laughs> and I'll just like wrap up the story. Uh, so you get five extra points and roll that before, or whatever roll you're doing with advantage. Uh, yeah, so you said with advantage, uh, uh, you know, let's go. So believe it or not, Noru's not actually going to tell the story of his time on, <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not, um, but, uh, Noru's going to, hey, that's nice. Uh, so 22 all together, and I'm actually adding a point of inspiration for that, that was funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> So Noru is going to tell a story from what he saw of uh, a Mandalorian um, because it was so bloody. There was a lot of um, 
skirmish fights and the Mandalorians were just trying to hold out primarily um, against the Republic's onslaught. So, you know, he's going to, he's, he's more so going to be, uh, um, how do you, how do you make this intimidating? You say that that, you think that was bloody? I'll tell you about a bloody fight. I, me and my men, held out. I got deployed on third, uh, it was my 15th day on the on planet, on deployment. We had spent a week, a week holding the line. The Republic dogs and their Jedi would constantly bombard us and use strafe attacks like the cowards they are and they I watched my men my, my friends that I grew up in die one at a time I managed to survive because at that time the if, if, there, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that I had like a, I'm gonna point to my leg and 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 uh as well, my leg got real torn up after that fight. And, uh, I, I, you know, whenever I walk, there's a, there's a weird, uh, a popping sound. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, uh, just, just to say, it was, it was a horrible thing. It wasn't. It, Duxin wasn't fun for anyone. Uh, yeah, that's that's intimidating. Grr. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I have such a favorite image of like that one SpongeBob episode of like the tough, tough guy bar, and then oh the yeah, I eat it with no milk. <laughs> I eat my nails without any milk. <laughs> All right, uh, give me a intimidation check. Uh, uh, Respectful fifteen. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, the last guy comes up, uh, and you see he's got silver armor that just kind of seems scarred all over. Uh, and he goes, ah, "You whitey, the coots talking about the sun. You all, we all lost the moon. There. I'm gonna talk about a battle that we won, due in no small part to me. Uh, we, I want to talk about Cathar. Uh, you know, that is where Mandalorians triumphed." Uh, and I was in the thick of it, fighting against those cat people. Uh, you know, we came riding down on our basilisk, and me and the basilisk, uh, I called them uh, three. Uh, he was three in my basilisk, and we came down, we were shooting, we were burning. Uh, you know, one of the, uh, the, the little cat guys tried to throw a grenade at me. I actually kicked it right back at him, blew up right in his cat face. You know why? Because I am a true Mandalorian. Uh, but that wasn't even the best of it. I came across a couple Jedi out there. They, they wanted to fight me. They thought they were so tough with their little light, bright swords. Uh, you know what? Most people, you know, they throw grenades, they throw flamethrowers, they shoot rockets at Jedi. Cause, you know, they're, they're worried about things getting bounced back at them. You know, not me. I drop my blaster. I pulled out just my little knife. And you see him grab his knife. Uh, you see it's only a couple inches long, but I didn't need much. Uh, he's like, I got in there with him cut my name on the first one before he was even dead I uh, jabbed my knife through the eye of the other one cause you know why I'm a true Mandalorian not like you guys who lost in Duxa uh, and he is going to try to make an intimidation check there oh shit oh no <laughs> oh my well. god Yep, it I was seems about like, to ask, like, seems like ooh, this is just the way that it's going, huh? Insight. Nah, that was a true story. <laughs> <laughs> so My cat decided to run away. <laughs> Doesn't like it when I hold him. Oh, poor, uh, and... So you guys see, unfortunately, the, the crowd is enraptured as he's speaking. Uh, they go, yeah, we, we did win at Cathar. We wiped them all out. Uh, it, we, Duxon's a bad memory, guys. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, that guy wins oh. the story time. <laughs> mm. 
That's it, guys. So, I see Let's how this one goes, all. huh? Let's just kill them all. <laughs> Ping, like, turns to Noru after that story, and he's like, Let's not mess with that dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is going a little harder for you guys than I expected, but what's next? Yeah. Uh, you still have the uh, uh, wrestling, the athletics of it, uh, killing the, the crate dragon, uh, or the war games, or just try to find your own path, uh, if you like. <laughs> Told you I think we should just kill the dragon. <laughs> Told you. Like, come on. The dragon <laughs> sounds good. I'm tempted yeah. by the wrestling I mean... one for the pure fact that both. <laughs> Kirk. Do you want to have Kirk <laughs> in a wrestling match? Kirk and like Isolith that's... are both unarmed characters and like tag team just versus Mandalorians. Two on two. They won't let Kirk do a wrestling match. Um... Two on one then. <laughs> I feel like given how our luck has been so far, the Kray Dragon might be the only thing we can do. <laughs> yep. yeah, so, I am so up for a hunt indeed. Before I leave, like the end, I just I like point at that guy and be like, "Yeah, you may be a, a badass and all, but have you killed a crate dragon? Because we will." And then I leave. <laughs> <laughs> so we're about to. Bye. <laughs> Either that, or we're gonna be dead. So. Oh, the other? No, we put him on the scent. Challenge him. You see him kind of scratching his cheek, like I have not hunted a crate dragon yet. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Are there other people who are going to be trying to do that, or? Uh, that one, uh, luckily, uh, nobody's really gone after the dragon Thank yet. So that... God, because <laughs> I feel like every NPC is rolling better than all of us. <laughs> now it's just time for the enemies to roll better than us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we didn't think yeah. about this part. He has a breath attack <laughs> that deals 3d10 damage. You yeah. might have the action economy on our side, though, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, there is action autonomy, but I'm, I'm sure that he has Actually, enough hit points to... That, hold on, that reminds me. Uh, where's... Uh, blanking out on the name real Elsa, fast. Elsa, or not Elsa. Elias. Elias. Yeah, Elias. Oh, yeah, she's been, Elias. She's, been kind of, she's in Mandalorian armor, too. She's kind of following along. Uh, she looks super out of her element, kind of surrounded by this many yeah. uh, Mandalorians. Oh shit, talking Jedi. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, luckily she has a helmet on, so people really can't see like how uh, how nervous she looks. Perfect. So it sounds like you guys are going after the uh, the, the crate dragon, hunting it down. I feel like this was purposely set up. Like it, it was all a master plan by Tegan. <laughs> and and we're we're gonna be facing off against our mortal doom. I wish I could say I was a master player. I thought you guys would have better luck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. What did we need to do? Did we Listen. just need to win one of these? Two, two. <laughs> Listen, yeah. man. No <laughs> lie. When the I, rain I for is... sure Ping had that. <laughs> I thought you did too. I thought you did. <laughs> When the Rancor is the only one winning something, we, we're in trouble. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Uh, well, uh, if you guys head out that way, uh, you gotta pass one of the scouts. Uh, they'll give you a little bit of uh, directions, uh, basically saying, uh, he's, take, he's taking residence in the mountain. Uh, you know, be careful, those things can burrow. Uh, they, they can get deep in there. Uh, but if you can catch its trail, catch a scent, uh, you may be able to hunt it back to its lair or lure it out, however you guys want to take it. But, uh, you know, be careful. Uh, a couple of uh, the others have actually gone down to its uh, poisonous breath. So uh, just be alert uh, if you go after. We don't want to, we need to fight the Republic. We don't want any more dead Mandos on our hands. I've got to give you guys a little bit of directions out there. Uh, and whoever would like to uh give me a survival check to see if you can kind of after you make some uh treks out there if you can catch its trail i got this guys don't worry <laughs> actually i, I have an moment. idea what if we lure it out to the camp to the camp oh my god <laughs> no this is terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> no they'll kill us <laughs> We will, we will run. get blamed for that. <laughs> uh, on our way there, when we're out of sight of any Mandalorians, uh, Kirk and Isolith would both cast Force Barrier, getting everyone except Elias, sadly. Oh, God. 
Uh, so that's five more maximum HP for everyone. Yeah. Uh, wow. Five maximum HP? Yeah. That is quite nice. Do we also get five HP? Yeah. Like instantly? Yeah, I think I it's so, so, yeah. Think... Yep, you do. Uh, I had a five point increase as well. Yeah, there you so, go. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Serena, it takes you a little bit of time kind of sifted through uh, <laughs> the plains, uh, but eventually as you get closer to the mountain, you do start to see uh, some holes. Uh, it looks like a large tunnel just carved through uh, both uh, the dirt and rock. Uh, you see it kind of leads, uh, you see a couple of them around, so it kind of leads down in one and it kind of branches off uh, once you look inside. Uh, are you going to the tunnels? Or are you following it? Or how are you guys going? Um... Before we go any further, I'm just going to cast uh, the, sh the ECA thing. I'm sorry, I forgot the name of the spell. Uh, Battle Precog, sorry. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything else I can do. Uh, yeah, I, I say we don't go in there. Let's try and pull it out here. Perfect. No points for you on that one, Ping. Uh, so, uh... Yeah, so you guys are gonna try to pull it out? Yep. Probably should lure it out with food, or maybe Us. we just call it a stinky butt, and then it'll call it out, you know? Actually, I was listening to Kirk have soundtrack, so they could try and imitate the sound of prey. Like a bantha or something, or something native. Or a that predator. Thing. Wouldn't that scare the way? I don't know what a I don't know I what a say, I don't think prey dragons have predators. I don't think they have. It's kind of bigger top dragon. Of <laughs> bigger <laughs> dragon. <laughs> uh, perfect. So are you gonna try to imitate uh, one of the uh, the prey pre era? Uh, if the, hmm, depends if that's what everyone else would like. I mean, before we do so, may I recommend? Detonator. Oh, you know that one quest in Kotor One where the crate dragon hunting. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe twenty D tip four. We can save the breaching charge. We got some mine. The breaching yeah. charge is for the Mandalore. How much is the fragment? How, how much is the fragmentation uh, mines? I think they're two D ten. We could use the breaching charge. Fragmentation. Mine. Fragmentation. Mine. Perfect. So you guys get us to set up mines. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to. Can I have. Since this is a thing that's probably going to happen. Can I first get a look at the layout of the cave? Oh, I like, uh, got. Are you going in the tunnel or like? Because uh, it's not you guys are buying one of its tunnels right now. Not, uh, right, not it's cave. it's it's like a tunnel entrance, right? Yeah, so kind of a tunnel, and you see it kind of going in, and then yeah. kind of as you look, hang your head over, you see it kind of branch uh, through multiple different paths. So uh, are we like are we like looking down like here, and 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 it's like, so are we like out here, and then it's like a hole and it goes down or is it like eh, and no and so more kind of like, like a, a hole at an angle so like uh, okay. you see it, it's like a diagonal versus a straight down type okay so okay. yeah it's like okay um okay i got a question mm -hmm. uh so they got mines would i be able to um I guess not. I I was I have I had my caltrips, but I'm afraid they're just gonna get blown up by the mines and. Uh, well, well, here's the thing: the like mines aren't probably end, going to be the only things that take them down. So, so you position them right, you can if you the position them right, and, uh, we can just bang explosion caltrops and then just force pe death. Gosh. I didn't know we were playing uh, Monster of the Week, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, wow. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, uh, 
Yeah, I just I, wanted that... I, like I was thinking about you know, like a D and D type game, having like a like a hunt monster hunting like campaign. Monster of the and... week. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, try monster of the week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not D and D, but it's uh, it, that's a system like uh. It's yeah, kind of... it's like. <laughs> You you basically you know spend a bunch of time you know trying to prepare for a monster hunt, getting all that information, and then you go get them. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. What like if the... we? Oh yeah, go for it. Oh no, I was about to say it's just kind of like the first part of the Witcher hunts. Like you gotta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so. Okay. Go ahead, Tony. So my thought was, why don't we put the mines right by the entrance of the cave, right? Mm -hmm. all right. So it it crosses them. We. Uh, and then, well, I, my thing is that we okay. freak it out with the mines, and then it runs into the caltrops as well. Because <laughs> I so, think the other way, it's not going to want to come forward anymore. How how big is this tunnel? Uh, it's pretty big, and actually, I'm going to throw you guys on a map so you can see yeah. the tunnel. Uh, if I help 15, it a little bit easier. Fifteen feet radius of uh, the detonation. So the tunnel's on the right upper hand corner. Wow. Okay. Upper right upper hand corner. Yeah. Okay. Break out Looks the, like the open grave. grave. <laughs> <laughs> so it's. Hold on. Is it all? Okay. So it's about fifteen feet apart. Um... Okay. So. I could just put down like one. Hold on, how do I? One, two, and three. And then whenever he comes out, I can just boom. Uh, hold on. I think I can only prime two at a time. Remote detonator. So you guys are gonna prime some. Uh, where's everybody gonna be? Where's everybody positioning themselves at? Mm. You can pair the detonator with up to two mines within two f ten feet as an action, and then you can remotely detonate the pair of mines within thirty feet. So I'm gonna be having to be within thirty feet. So. So if 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 we're I keep forgetting which button and then I just I've lost my touch. Alright, so I'm gonna hide in these bushes because that's probably my best bet at not not getting chomped. Um it takes a minute for me to over the course of one minute you can pair the detonator with up to two mines do they have to be armed like could i pair them and then arm them and then run away or do yeah, i have yeah, to like yeah. okay okay because i think i'm gonna do that because i don't want to like sit out there for like one minute just being like oh <laughs> don't mind Hanging me out. yeah <laughs> Vandalizing it, but uh, that's that's what I'm gonna do. Perfect. Uh, so uh, we get the mine set up, uh, and then Isleth, give me a uh, give me either a survival or a force check to see if you can kind of mimic this uh, the the sounds of their prey, uh, and then all of you guys give me a stealth check. Okay. I'm gonna go with force. Nice. Oh. So yeah, you keep kind of a, a, a good call through uh, your powers, just imitating like a, a real hefty sounding batha. Uh, and you do eventually start to hear rumblings beneath you guys. Oof. All right. Uh... Oof, oof. I'm just going to do the flat, um, like 19. Uh, I'm, just, I'm not chancing it. <laughs> So uh, we just need one for uh, Isleth and Kirk, and that's going to be kind of the, the game changer on this one. <laughs> it's uh, yep. half and half right now. <laughs> uh, 
Oi. Alright, so. <laughs> I. My brain just. Oh, I don't still even works. know. We're going to initiative anyway, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, alright, time to roll stealth. And then initiative is part of stealth, right? <laughs> God, okay, so. Uh, 24. Of course, I get a nat 20 on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not about nat twenties, sure. but man. Perfect. So, oh, even split. But let me do Elias. Uh, she's proficient in stuff, isn't she? No, oh, she's not. But she does well enough. Uh, so Dang, Leah, cool. look at you getting a good roll on initiative. <laughs> Ooh, I'm proud of you. Got two crits on initiative. Uh, oh, three. Oh, three. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. All right, you guys, are, hopefully that's a, a good sign for you guys <laughs> for the match. Uh, and why is it small? There we go. Oh, no, size. he's not tiny. <laughs> 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 oh, dragon, he's a that big boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, give Wait, me Wait, I damage. have an important question. Yeah. How big, like, in terms of size, how large is this? Is it large or huge? Oh, uh, it's huge. Yeah. So does he need to make a deck save? He we need does. To get, uh, we need to get so a bunch of sand people make, out here with he ballistas needs, and stuff. Yeah, you know? right. So he needs to make two. <laughs> he cri this is three crits in a row. This is three <laughs> crits. Uh, wow. It's 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 it's, it's, it's it, each of them have a save. Is that count? Oh, I'm sure we'll say both of them do. No! <laughs> Four crits! Alright, I feel like we'll Shut it down, fishing. restart, blow yeah, on the cartridge. Yeah, blow on the cartridge. Real. I don't know what's <laughs> four in a row. What are the odds of that? Yeah, well. Alright, awesome. You know, I thought I was so clever. I was like, oh, I'm gonna <laughs> arm my battle. Those Mandalorians sold us duds. <laughs> Uh, so roll me some damage for them. Did, oh, and I forgot. Did you set up cow trips, friend? Um. Well, so I, I don't know if I could really, given our space here. So no, nah, it's okay. I spent four hundred credits to deal <laughs> ten damage. <laughs> yeah. The Mandalorians knew what they were doing to you, man. <laughs> I can sell this Jedi on junk. <laughs> so, oh. Yeah, so he steps out. You see, like, uh, especially with uh, how well that call went through, uh, you guys mostly being silent as a group, keeping yourselves hidden from its sight and sound. You see the, the crate dragon just burst from its tunnel. Uh, it's got scales, like, flexing, and you see it step on a mine, uh, just blast into it, the steps on another and blasts into it. Uh, but unfortunately, the dragon has pretty thick scales and uh, it doesn't seem too too perturbed of what just went on. Uh, so Should have done the detonator. Just saying. Should have <laughs> done the detonator. Uh, 20 right. D4. The crits are over. The crits 20 are D4. Over. <laughs> All right. Uh, Red, you are up. Yay. Okay. Ren has a brand new weapon. Huh. And it's gonna break it in. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so gonna use um Yeah, okay. Gonna use bonus action to target lock. I forgot hunting rifle does not have much in the way of uh ammo, so gonna have to figure that out. Oh, uh, and if because uh, did you oh you didn't have any leftover credits. Uh buy a power yeah. when you can. They're like 400 okay. credits and they give you a free re action reload oh really yeah okay cool yeah i already had like a a bandolier and stuff i was trying to figure out okay you said power belt mm -hmm. put that on my <laughs> okay I'm gonna add that cool. to my shopping list i know right yeah because hunting rifles have like two <laughs> yeah. that's about it yeah <laughs> okay so going to yeah just try and uh target lock and then uh, go for the actual thing here, sir. Okay, cool. And hunting rifle. That uh, okay, and I have short attacks. I'll do it again. Got the hat. Yeah, okay. And hunting rifle again. Whew! So you guys the good rolls are at. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Finally. 
Okay. And we got one. And then we'll get the other one without the Ranger's Quarry because that doesn't apply. Okay. Ta da. Nice. Some solid damage on that. So 16, 32, 39. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it pops out. Oh, Hunting Rider was kinetic too. So yeah, you see it pop out, just like its head swirling. Uh, kind of glaring or like sizing you guys all up as prey. Uh, and then Ren just pops out and puts two slugs into it. Uh, it takes <laughs> off a good chunk of health. All right. Yeah. That's all I'm going to do. I gotta use a bonus action to reload my hunting rifle next turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It is going to use a legendary action to move. Uh, so you oh, see no. it just crawling all across the line, and you see it get into range and sizing up both the Rancor as well as Ghoul uh, with its teeth kind of flaring. Uh, and then, Ghoul, you are up. Alrighty. Um... Yeah, okay. I guess that changes plans a little bit. Um, let's go right into Way of Salami. Uh, as bonus action, I think it is. Yep. Uh, bonus action into my offensive stance, and then I will swing, swing. the dual phase. First attack. Uh, unfortunately, you hit it, but uh, just not enough to pierce through its eye. And I will... Uh, extra attack. Do that again. <laughs> nice. That just hits. Okay. And yeah, let's go to uh, two points of force empowered. Nice, solid blow on that one. 24, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, that is, yeah, it's going to be my turn. Nice. Uh, so you see that first one gets deflected by its armor, but that second one you're able to dive deep with the force uh, and get a kind of a solid cut into the beast. Uh, and it is going to use a legendary action to... Uh, you see, as you cut into it, one of its claws reach up uh, and slap back at you. Uh, oh, it is not... I am fortunate that will miss then. Uh, it is still gonna slap at you as uh, the two uh, two blasts come at it. Luckily, it didn't roll too hot, uh, so you take eleven kinetic damage as you see the uh, the crate just slash down with one of its claws. Uh, the Noro, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna start. Cowards. I think not. I'm going to activate my uh, no, not my. Well, ob obviously my covert's out, but I'm going to use my um, <clears throat> my ideal to do covert mastery, um, primarily for when you are hidden from a creature and you miss an attack with an unarmed strike, it doesn't automatically reveal you, and when you deal damage to a creature with an unarmed strike or with an attack. Um, while you're hidden, you deal additional damage equal to your proficiency bonus. Read your guys' character sheet, guys. Sometimes you forget things, and then you're just like, wow, I'm an idiot. And I do that a lot. You I just learned dumb. I have to find. <laughs> so, I'm going to make two shots with uh, my, uh, my primitive bow. Um, Uh, that will miss. Ah, uh, that will hit. Okay. 11 damage. Plus. 3. 4. And then I'm going to be rolling sneak attack damage. And. 
double strike. Perfect. Okay. Solid blow. Uh, so, give me a uh, stealth check, too. I don't have to because, well, do I? Yeah, you made a dead attacks. Oh, okay. So do I need to make two stealth? Do I need to make two stealth checks for that? Oh, yeah, give me two stealth checks for that. Solid. Yeah, so uh, you've got to pop in and out, uh, and luckily uh, don't attract the beast's notice uh, as you uh, get one of your arrows lands true. Alright, Kirk is up. Wait. Oh, oh wait, this damage. Kirk oh, doesn't no. give initiative. He doesn't, yeah. Oh, he's that's a waste of the 20. Uh, Sorry it's, about it's that. Initiative, so no worries. Uh, so the great dragon is up. Uh, who did it think is. Honestly, uh, so yeah, it's going to turn, and unfortunately, uh, you're going to get the brunt of this. Uh, Wait, this how little... high up is this this little thing they're on? Uh, He's a crate dragon. Yeah, it's a crate yeah, dragon. It's a crate dragon. Yeah. Yeah. dragon. I just mentioned the hole in case we need to jump off of it. So it's raised about five feet up, I'll say. Okay, okay. Uh, and he is going to, you see him rear his head back, uh, you just see saliva start dripping down, and you see it start to, and it hits the grass, it turns it like, you see it start to brown and just decay the grass as soon as it hits. Gross. Uh, and then you see it lean back, uh, and then just unleash a spray of venom, uh, at you, so... Uh, give me a dexterity check, and I think unfortunately, or constitution check, sorry. Uh, and I think unfortunately that's going to apply to you two, Ping. Alright, I was just going to say how far was I going to reach. This is a bad time to have no constitution. Do you guys, do you guys remember the thing that I said before we had to do this? <laughs> you know, oh, I was going to kill us all with a breath attack? You have to fight it, though. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, you, oh yeah, you just got that. Yeah, I forgot about that. Ooh, this is gonna be ugly. Oh, that was oh that's not bad. Oh. Uh, thirty-six <laughs> points of damage. Uh, oh, that's thirty-six points of damage. Oh, it's just thirty-six. Uh, okay. so you, I'm at twelve. <laughs> uh, so you see, the sprays of poison uh, just wash over uh, Isleth, Kirk, and Ping. Uh, but fortunately, you see them all manage to keep their feet afterwards. All right, Ping, you're up. All right, so this is going well. <laughs> uh, Ping, I hope that you remember that five maximum HP from earlier. <laughs> I know, I know. I Well, I, I would have been at two. I'm at seven. I got plenty of <laughs> Uh, so Ping is actually going to cast Fear at him. Uh, so I think that is a wisdom saving throw or become frightened. And the save on that will be uh, 18. Oh no! <laughs> Nat 20 is every save. Every oh. save. <laughs> This wow. is like, uh, you see the great dragon, uh, you feel like a, you reach into its mind, uh, and as you do so through the forest, you, you feel this great dragon has seen some shit. Uh, <laughs> you know, in hindsight, going up to the great dragon that the Mandalorians were too afraid to go after, should have been aside for this. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yes. So, uh, as a bonus action, <laughs> uh, I will use Out of Mind. <laughs> What's that one? That's a new one, isn't it? Or, uh... Uh, yeah, so this one's specific to my archetype. Okay. Uh, so I can try, as a bonus action, I can remace, re erase him from my mind. So it's another wisdom save. On a fail. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, my God. All right. Uh, Ping is going to run away. Fair okay. <laughs> <laughs> you right. got this, guys. <laughs> you, I believe you. Oh, I forgot I had beast strength. <laughs> what? Uh, hold on. What's that let do? Me, let me. I'm reading it. Uh, or to be charmed, and and the power ends if that's the least. Good. Um, uh, quick question. This thing. This this thing have more than four intelligence. Ah, oh, that's a good question. It does. Barely. Man, never mind. That that plan was not uh, gonna work. Is is 
Is Isleth on uh on her mountain right now? I keep forgetting its yeah. name. <laughs> Kirk. Okay. Well. Easy way to remember Dark Souls. You fight Kirk and Isleth. <laughs> there oh, you yeah, go. Yeah. Good, okay. I had <laughs> yeah. not put that together. So. <laughs> yeah. Me neither. Okay. Well, I can do something on my turn. So we'll see. All right. I need it. I have a plan. <laughs> Bonus oh action. God. Command Kirk. Kirk's turn. You guys are so, You guys are just disappearing. Wait, actually, before before you cast that, uh, yeah. down to the force on his lip. And they're out of there. <laughs> Going the way of ping. They got. Isolith is out. <laughs> Isolith said 12 HP because of. Uh, Would have been at 7. Nah, they're, they're booking yeah. it. We totally forgot about. Oh, uh, she does. Let me put her in. Uh, yeah, so you I was like, guys... man, I feel like I should be doing more. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all see uh, Islip and Kirk just straight disappear <laughs> and hear sounds of the footfalls as it takes off. Uh, very pretty, uh, so actually, yeah, you can have her go now. She'd have been a little earlier, but uh, okay. we'll get to her in. Yeah, just to make up for lost time here. Alrighty. Yeah, let me recheck. I said it's been a while. Give me a sec. Oh, yeah, no worries. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um. And then three. Okay. Cool. So she's going to just um uh, come up and try and smack at him here. Sure. I'll probably get him from here. Yeah, you can get there. Yeah. Okay. And um, kind of get him once because. So I guess I'll bonus action uh, Surisu first, and then just try and get him with the double uh, double Shoto. So, yeah. Nope. <laughs> uh, so uh, you see, she's just a little intimidated by the great dragon that uh, just boiled venom out of its uh, mouth and just kind of comes up a little short. Yeah, All that's right. fair. Uh, he's gonna use his last leggy. Uh, who's he? He's gonna take a swipe at Ool again. Oh no. Uh, so you see him slash up. Uh, it swipes at Ool for 13 damage. Oh, uh, and then Rin, uh, top of the order, you're back up. Okay. <laughs> um, cool. So I'm going to. Uh, I looked it up, and apparently there's a different one for like slug based weapons, too. Uh, well, it's the same price. I don't know what they had to make a different one. Anyways, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> could have just done the same thing. Ammo feeding belt, and just called yeah. it that, you know. But um, yeah. So uh, Ren is going to use a bonus action to reload because you can do that, and uh, then just start firing off at uh, at uh, the great dragon here. I was looking, trying to see if I can use anything else. Um, I don't know if either of them. Uh, how's Noru looking? I can't see his I'm stuff. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good. Good. Yeah. Okay, I'm good yeah, I have, I I got covering fire a little while ago, so I was just trying to make sure that I'm, I didn't I'm have a, to. I'm a pop force. Scooch anyone I'm a, else? I'm, I'm a pop force blur after this. Okay. So even if he could hit me, he's gonna have disadvantage. Okay. Um, I don't want to get case, hit. <laughs> I'll just do some some regular, uh, some regular old uh, shots here with the hunting rifle. Perfect. Oh. And we're gonna go. Make sure I have that on and hunting rifle. Depending on how this ha this uh, round that will goes. Miss, unfortunately. Dang. Okay. Can I use yeah. defiant on that? I don't have to use defiant. Hey. Yeah. I'll use defiant and. There we go. Ooh, You're beans. just one shy, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> well, that's fine. And then I'll do uh, my second attack here. Perfect. Cool. And go damage. And then uh, damage again. And yep. Yeah, that's all I got. Solid. You get a, what's that, 19... Uh, 34. Yeah, you get another solid blast off. Of 
put in chunks into it. Uh, you see, it's uh, still looking healthy. Uh, it is starting to slow down, starting to bleed a little bit. All right, yeah. That's all I. That's all I got. Uh, oh, you're up. All righty. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna yell out to Elias and say, uh, "Just try and stay behind it, but watch its tail." And now uh, I'm just gonna go up to it and do what I do. Right. I'll try I to be at least. Higher in the queue right now. Didn't get sorted or something. Oh, what did I get sorted? Oops. Yeah. Just look. Oh, I guess Elias didn't get put in. Um, that'll yeah, be uh, that'll right. have plus three on that. That's my bad. <laughs> so 18, 19, 20, 21 to hit. Oh, that'll hit. Yeah. Whew. Dang. Um, and this time I will do Force Empowered. Still solid roll there. 21 there. And then extra attack. Nice. 25 to hit, nice. Yeah, let's keep going. Can I do Force Empowered each time, right? It's oh, not yeah, like a... Hit. Okay, yeah. yep. Um... So 11, ooh, what a, look at that second, two ones, oh my goodness. That's rough. Um, and then bonus action into the uh, resistance, I think, is uh, Sarisu. Perfect. And that's my turn. All right, Noro, you're up. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Force Blur. So for up to a minute, unless he has True Sight or can see through illusions. Tegan? Tegan, can, can he see through illusions? <laughs> How would you know? Would you... <laughs> uh, but Force Blur is an action, though. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm 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 trying to have a economy of my actions. Uh, I'm gonna use a bonus action to cast Force Focus, uh, and then I'm going to use my attacks. Um, so that's going to be two sneak attacks, two well two attacks with sneak attack on one. And my proficiency bonus, and the force focus. So, right. just so give me an attack, stealth roll, attack. There you go. Okay, attack, stealth roll, attack, stealth. Really piling it on, huh? Oh yeah, <laughs> I really like to to roll. Okay. <clears throat> stealth roll. Nice. Ooh. Att oh, wait, no, 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 not primitive show dope. Okay, there. Uh, dang it. Perfect, all right, roll damage. Oh, wait, yeah, roll sneak attack, or stealth. Okay. You know, I'm really happy I, I, <laughs> I got into stealth. So, uh, primitive bow, dealing 10 damage with the sneak attack, dealing one damage with the force focus. Oof. <laughs> oh, man, that's rough. Plus three. <laughs> <laughs> that's 15 damage, though. Doing double strike. Making it. That, that, there we go. So, 10. Uh, taking that to 15. So, 21 damage. I used to get a solid blow up on it. I find it funny after no blast is working for no he just went to a bow and all of a sudden I was sudden just like works. I was like this is just infinitely better I just <laughs> perfect uh Elias you're up you've made four shots so far right uh and Elias is still afraid of the uh big guy over here and yeah gonna heed rules warning and try and go behind him a little bit 
And um, let me check here. Do. Um, hmm. Cool. Okay, cool. I'm going to just do the uh, same old thing here and uh, use Surisu again and then double Shoto. And that's a 13. <laughs> uh, so Elias is unfortunately just <laughs> okay. struggling with this thing's hide. Uh, and it is up again. And let's see here. It looks like it's stuck in the wrong. Yeah, <laughs> aww. <laughs> It is going to uh, whip a tail at. Actually, no, it's going to do this first. Uh, how rare right is that? Uh, so, everybody, give me a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. And wisdom. That's a nat one. <laughs> I just realized I have advantage on my attacks. We don't have any, uh, <laughs> we don't have any, uh, inspiration, do we? You guys have five, yeah. Oh, thank God. Okay, I'll use... I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... <Don't>... Please. <laughs> I'll use one of our inspirations to see if I can... Perfect. If not... Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, is it worth... Ah, uh, no. Okay, well, <laughs> it was worth the, sh worth the shot. So is it everybody? Uh... And the wrinkle. <laughs> <laughs> it's just throwing out crits today. <laughs> it's, uh, sweet. So uh, everybody, but it's looking at her rancor who are invisible and hiding right now. <laughs> already, they're <laughs> already a... booking it, man. They, ain't looking they were bad. already afraid, so they didn't feel like super afraid. Uh, sweet. So uh, yes, you guys, uh, as you hear, you see it kind of like bellow out uh, as it takes those blows and you see just kind of its presence ooze across the, uh, the field and you kind of feel a little bit of fear start to well up in you uh, and it is going to oh yeah let I... me do Elias's oh, no. oh, oh yeah well, uh, I don't know why it gave me unfortunately that's fine it's very nice to know that you have medium perfect <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay well that's an A for Elias <laughs> Uh, so she's afraid as well, uh, and it is going to take a bite and a claw at Wool and a stinger attack at Elias. Okay, well, at least uh, Elias has uh, three C1. So, uh, so uh, for Wool, 20 on that first one and 18 on the second one, and then Stinger uh, has to make a DC 15 con saving throw or take that okay. poison. We may want the retreat. Wool for all of that for Wool? Oh, no, the first two. Uh, so the <laughs> 20 and the 18. Here, huh? uh, ooh, so okay, so the poison it. doesn't apply to me. Um, and then half damage on everything else. 13. Uh, and then uh, 30 damage over there to Elias. I just got Cerisu up. Oh, so sweet. So that, uh, half kinetic? 22 to her, yeah. Okay, 22. She's not damn. She's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah. Ping, you are up. Right, so uh, Ping is going to gather himself, and I'm going to use Galvanizing Presence uh, to try to shake it off. Uh, so as a bonus action, I let out a rallying cry. I, I tell everyone to steal your spine. Uh, and then uh, up to five people that can hear me can also lose the frightened condition. Sweet. Uh, yeah, so everybody, uh, after Ping gives that rousing speech, uh, your fear just dissipates. Yay. Have I, I mentioned how much I appreciate you, Ping? <laughs> <laughs> so, I was watching the, the VOD for, la for last session, and like, <laughs> when you popped out, I was like, that's the first time I've ever seen anyone use that. <laughs> yeah, and it twice. Like, yeah, it's yeah, I mean, like, awesome. especially when you guys are hunting like Sith and stuff that use primal presence a lot. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a nice one to have. And uh, he's actually gonna uncharacteristically run back into the fight. He even inspired himself. Wow. Uh, so he's gonna run up here, and uh, he is going to uh, tell Ul to to get him. And I will use Improved Force Camouflage, and I will extend that out uh, using 
uh, distant power. So Ool is now invisible. Nice. I think that gives you advantage on the hit, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, except I keep I forgot that. So all of the attacks I've been making have been without a I'm That's not right, smart. Really? I'm not <laughs> smart. I feel that. All right. All right. Uh, actually, he's going to use a legendary action since he can't see Ool. Uh, he's unfortunately going to do a tail swipe at Elias. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, oh. 20 kinetic and 6 poison. That's definitely going to knock her down, yep. <laughs> no, well, is, is she using Sarisu still, or is that... Uh, oh, it's that only on the first hit. First oh, never mind. Never mind. Yep. Okay. Alright, uh, but this left you are up now for real. Uh, bonus action to command Kirk, like normal. Uh, running up here, uh, Isleth is going to break her own in invisibility in order to... Has. Huh. I forgot. Kirk's the one with the damaging stuff. Do you want to keep Kirk's invisibility and keep the eyes just signed up there? Uh. Oh, I also forgot. Casting anything breaks invisibility. It does. <laughs> uh. Let me look at what I can do with Sentinel real fast. Okay, nothing. What can I do? Okay. I may have made the mistake. <laughs> yeah. Uh, scooching over here, gonna break out invisibility cast. Heal at second level to pink. Uh, just to make sure he's all right for when the dragon comes over here. <laughs> Uh, so that is 2d8 plus 4. And then what Kirk's gonna do. Kirk, I need you to get really big so that we can all hide behind you. <laughs> oh man, like, think it back to Big Cat. Oh yeah, uh, the raging uh, giant barbarian. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. What? What does Kirk have that would be useful in this scenario? Yes, sanctuary. <laughs> I know what he's doing for a bonus action. Uh, he's going to cast it onto Arm for Power, Hostile Creature. I'm going to say to Isolith. Yeah, he's going to cast it to Isolith, and for a main action, just let him scooch. Let's see, what is this for you? Oh, he'd have to scooch all the way there for a melee attack. Uh, this doesn't see. protect you from. This doesn't protect you from area of attacks, mind you. So I can, he can hope. He can still like just I blow up, hope, blow man. all of you away. All right, so that's a D10 plus Kirk's gone. Uh, that breath attack's got a cooldown, right? 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 Do? He hasn't gotten it back yet. Okay. All right, next. <laughs> and five <laughs> HP for Kirk. So that's going to be their turn. All right. Existing. Red, Existing. you are up. Okay. Um, well. <laughs> oh, what a happened? Bunch nice. of stuff I'm going to try. Okay. I think the way I'm going to do this. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. So I was trying to remember the spellcasting rules with using multiple spells, and I think I'm all good. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to use a leveled spell. I'm going to culto back at, um, at Elias. I don't want her to die. <laughs> just, at, just at level one because uh, don't not swimming in you know slots here. Not yet. Oh, I always put Ranger's Quarry, but that's seven to her. It's a back on her feet at least. Yep. And then I'm gonna do this. Uh yeah. Okay. Okay. I was going to use a oh wait no. Okay, sorry. I'm I'm thinking of a bunch of things at once. Yeah, I my weapon hasn't reloaded yet 
and I can't do that. So I guess instead I'm going to just try and jet a flame uh, the crate dragon. I don't know if he has resistance or not, but let's hope not. It would be and funny. That's a if, nine too. It, it would be funny if like just because you couldn't see Ghoul, like you accidentally hit him. <laughs> Fortunately, oh. it's it's with jet of flame. It's a uh, ranged attack, so I oh, got a range attack. Nine, oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yep. Oh, I was I hoping know. that he failed at least one. Oh, yeah. That, that's rough. Yeah. Thank you. So you see, it just kind of the flame splash off uh, against the side. <laughs> kind of a yeah, it does... modifier does he have? Zero. <laughs> Zero. Yeah. It's not great. <laughs> how, how did he? How did both of them? He critted both of them. Oh, I'm still yes. mad about the mines. <laughs> <laughs> right. The Mandalorian screwed you over, man. Uh, oh, you are up. All right, still invisible. You are. Okay, well, I'll just uh, yeah, step up, take a swing. Still in Selamiri. Nice, that'll hit. All right. Two points. A little better that time. Yeah, eighteen. And extra attack. Twenty-three. That'll hit too. Twenty-three points of damage. Nice. All around. Yeah, so you cut into a pretty deep uh it's starting to, it's, it's beyond bloody it's looking a little messed up now um hey. what do i know about the invisibility uh, in regards to duration things like that um i think you've, you've seen noru and uh or seen ping yesterday use this before uh you know it typically lasts for about an hour uh as long as ping can keep his focus up uh you're not going to be like able to be seen um Okay, so with that in mind, I'm going to trust in Ping's abilities and do something different for my bonus action. Um, let's try... Uh, sure, why not? Uh, Juyo Vapid, uh, increase that crit range one more, down to 18. And that'll be my turn. Nice. Uh, as you slash into it, it's gonna kind of flail around and try to hit you with the claw attack with disadvantage. Uh, and it just whiffs at the air, just swiping where Woo! it thinks you would be. Alright. Noro, you're up. Alright. This time I'm gonna use advantage, because I feel dumb. Uh, so, I'm gonna do the same thing as before. I'm gonna make two attacks uh, for my bonus action I'm I don't think I'm going to do anything I did do force focus which is what two points and then I did another Okay. three points three points yeah, force, force focus is level two spell isn't it no it's level one what is it? okay I saw that and I was like sold <laughs> two force points and I deal a d4 on everything sold um, sorry uh, but yeah I'm gonna make uh, two attacks on my primitive bow yeah, okay I'm gonna roll again for my it, it... Oof, yeah. advantage. primitive bow that Isn't one will it? hit Okay, making my two stealth checks. Stealth don't fail me now. Nice. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> the heck. It's so good. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh roll some damage. Alright, primitive bow damage. Alright, so it's a ten. Plus three. Uh rolling my sneak attack damage. Okay. Uh, also adding my, and then I'm gonna do. D4 from the... 
Oh, uh, yeah, the D4 for force fork focus. <laughs> Sorry, I just think of like a car. <laughs> like fork. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm, I, I have really good tension span. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to do one point to do double strike. So 10, 12, 13, uh, 17 damage. Nice. Perfect. Did I get uh, another arrow right into it? Uh, uh, for a bonus action, I don't know if there's anything else I can do. But... Yeah, I think I'm good. Perfect. All right, Elias is up. All right. Uh, Elias doesn't have a death wish, <laughs> uh, and is going to uh, use her action to disengage and just sort of book it. <laughs> I'm being 100% honest. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, she's gonna go, and then she's going to um, she's gonna lend aid herself there. Perfect. So see Elias gonna get some space and call up on the force to heal some of her wounds uh, and then the crate dragon uh, is going to march up uh, it is going to oh, get real with uh, Isolith, uh the Rancor, Kirk, and Ping uh, and let's see uh, if you guys are lucky you we are were not, not lucky <laughs> we <laughs> were not lucky oh there goes some positive <laughs> walking toward the wizard <laughs> Uh, so give me some more constitution saving throws. You see it rear its head back again, and it's no. bleeding this time. Uh, it just... Whoever we got an inspiration. Uh, uh, no! We do have what, four, four inspiration, if you guys four. want to use one. This Man, is the time. Zero con mod. We're going to be 100% four guys. Four con mod. I, like... <laughs> Alright, you guys sticking with it? Uh, uh, the, the, uh you know what? You no, know. if I roll again, it's gonna be in that one. You know, we <laughs> can't take him with us, right? <laughs> <laughs> Saying. Okay, going in one, two, three. Okay, I. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. Kirk's all... still up, he's got healing. <laughs> Kirk is hanging out about what, it looks like. By a uh, single thread. <laughs> Uh, you see the wave of poison just wash over, uh, and you see it down for Isolip and Ping. Uh, Ping, give me a death saving throw. Welp. <laughs> I was about to say. Uh, luckily, nope. he, he's got more than 36 out of 43, it looks like. He was a bear! Yeah, Wait, double, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 I have those five extra hit points, I'm good. Yeah, so death save, alright, so that's another con. Yep. Alright. Er, no, actually, uh, it should be, you have a death save thing in there, um, that'll roll for you, so it's like, uh, in the middle of the screen. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, sorry, there it is. So, so yep, either way. we're just still a failure, uh, so you've got one failure of death saves. Uh, it's the same thing. Uh, you've got one success. All right, and then there's Kirk. Oh yeah, I forgot Kirk would need two. Oh Kirk, yeah, Kirk's still up. Yeah, uh, yeah, he is. Uh, channel the force on ping. Uh, <laughs> cure. Sorry, heal on <laughs> Isla. So that'll be uh, nine on ping flat. And I gotta roll for the other one. Man, I'm happy I boosted uh, Wisdom for it. <laughs> nice. Nine uh, and nine. So you see the Rancor channeling the Force using some of that Dothamiri magic. Uh, it gets both Ping as well as uh, Islet back up. That uh, sentence gave me so much joy. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon is going to use its legendary action to move over by Rin and Elias. Oh, uh, Ool is no longer invisible. Sorry, that was... Oh, yeah. Just, so, no longer invisible, uh, but it does take note at some of the fresher targets over there. 
Uh, Did you get an attack of opportunity, or is that like a free movement for him? Oh, uh, it's a free movement, and I think you guys don't get one for being prone either. Uh, but Kirk's still up. Oh, yeah, Kirk was still up, but it is uh, a free legendary movement on that one. Dang. All right, uh, and then Red, you are up. Hey. Well. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that great dragon towering over you. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> okay. Oh, Let sorry. Me... Uh, Ping and Isleth, give me a Constitution check too. Oh. For wounds. Oh. Oh, yeah. okay. sure. oh no. Oh yeah. No wounds for oh you, hey. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um. I am. You know. Ren's just gonna start bolting uh a yeah hmm. so, I feel like he's been doing some real nice uh hits here in terms of like his attack modifier yeah cuz I have I have um cover to cover now which would give him disadvantage but I think that won't really matter <laughs> given the everything about him so I'm going to use my action to disengage and run. Just gonna go right there. Okay. And I'm gonna use my bonus action to uh, reload my hunting rifle too. Perfect. And yeah, it's all for me. All right, uh, Ool, you are up. All right. Uh, yeah. It, I mean, I'll step up if I need to, and just gonna. Attack. Perfect. And how long does that? Oh, that yeah, that was stupid to do it after my turn. Um. Oh, is it not last at the end of your next turn? Is it just your first turn? Oh, uh, let's see. Until the start of your next turn, yeah. So I should have done it bef at the beginning of my turn, like whatever. Um, it, it wouldn't have mattered. So. I'll do, uh, just to get it out of the way, uh, bonus action Sarisu for that, so resistance and damage, but then uh, attack. Take nice. that. Uh, oh, I turned off the salami, so there should be three more points on that. Hey, the salami. Let's go. Perfect. 16, 23, that, or 24 on that first one. Ugh. Uh, second one misses, but this, it's, it's slowing down. It's, you see, it's like kind of moving slower. It's got multiple cuts and burns and uh, bullet wounds. Uh, it's getting near the end of its life. Uh, oh, yeah. It is going to use a, a legendary uh, and claw at you. Uh, and then, so for 10 kinetic, uh, and Noru, you're up. Okay. Sorry, my grandmother's messaging me. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing that I did previously. <laughs> and, um, uh, I'm gonna keep hammering away at this thing and hope eventually it... it, it how, how close is it looking? It's looking rough. Okay. If I can just get maybe two hits, maybe <laughs> these these damage rolls will really start adding up. So um, two attacks, two stealth rolls. So primitive bow. Get advantage. I put advantage. Nice. That's a crit, baby. Roll stealth. That's. I mean, it, it wasn't supposed to be with advantage, I'm sorry, but... Oh, no, first roll still counts. Yeah. yeah. Um, another primitive bow. Not advantage, but I hit. Now Perfect. I'm going to turn off advantage. Oof. Uh, you see uh, the, the second shot hits. Uh, the thing, like, turns its head and its tongue sticks out and it catches wind of you. Well, it doesn't matter if it dies, so let's roll these damage rolls. <laughs> so, Primitive Bow. 24 damage. 
or is that is that different? Because we got oh, that's a ten. That's a ten on the. That's two tens. I that's rolled two tens. Roll. I rolled nice. two. Oh. Alright, uh, the Wookiee in. Alright, uh, roll a, a d6 and a d4, then you add 10 from your sneak and your uh, favorite. So, sneak attack. Look at that. It's awesome, man. I'm rolling nice. really high damage. Force focus. Dang. Okay. Friend yeah, golf claps. Got max, but you know. Plus you three. Might have, uh, do you got double strike? Plus double strike. Is uh, is all of this with advantage, by the way, or is that because I, I would be rolling like crazies? No, just your attack rolls with advantage. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a twenty-four from the first, six, eight, thirty-two, thirty-seven, uh, plus sixteen. Nice. Uh, fifty-three. And uh, I still have my second attack. Uh, oh yeah, roll your second attack damage. Okay, so the base damage. Plus, uh, I don't get sneak attack, but I get force focus, and I get the plus three. That one's 17. Perfect, uh, finish it. I'm just going to, like, a a as it, like, notices me, I'm just going to be, like, Pew! and then just, like, right in the eye socket and just. Pew! Oh, and your three is just once per turn, too. Oh, is that just once per turn? Mm-hmm. Uh, but either way, that's still enough to finish it. Yeah. All right, so you see the primitive the crate... bow for life. <laughs> uh, the crate dragon just crashed to the ground. Uh, more poison oozing out of its mouth. Uh, and you see the light eventually fade from its eyes and its breathing stop. Uh, and you see just kind of eyes uh, where the the ground by where its saliva hits, uh, the grass starts to can. Gosh. Gonna yep. count that one up on me, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ping is just like, I hurt everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep, yep. Well, Ping just kind of rolls over. It's like, I I'll catch up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys go ahead. Sweet. Well, I, we should take some proof. Anyone got a, <laughs> anyone got a selfie stick around here? Go start dragging it back. Oh my god, I think it's too he big is for large. him. He is Do large. I... Well, I don't know. Yeah. Ren, would you have um, told some stories about some of the uh, lore and potential hidden mysteries of these creatures? <laughs> I mean, worst comes to worst, I have nice survival, so I could try. <laughs> Yeah, you can definitely do a survival or nature roll, your choice. Oh, they're both nature. garbage for me. Well, it's 14. Yep. Alright, uh, so, so well, this is the first time you've seen one outside of a museum. Uh, Rin, uh, you, uh, you know a little bit about them. Uh, you know, uh, the museum's gonna tell me the information I want to know, though. Uh, actually, uh, outside of like a cartoon, <laughs> yeah. you, you yeah. saw one of the Galactic Adventures of uh, Captain Crate Dragon, uh, and uh, well, Ping is actually proficient in survival too, so I had a twenty-two. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so Renda, uh, you'd know uh, uh, probably the, the, your people would probably want to see. They don't need the whole body, but they'd want to see the horns or some scales or something to confirm with it. Uh, and yeah. Ping, um, this kind of fits your personality. You know that if you Cut it up, you may get lucky and find a uh, crate pearl uh, within the dragon. Yeah, so I'll, I'll share that. I'm, like, I'm not even getting up. I'm just going to yell over there. Get the pearl! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> then what, the belly. what type of roll to cut open this, this dude and fish around in there? <laughs> yeah, I've, been, I've just been shooting like little bows, so I have no idea how my arrows may even manage to pierce him. So... Uh, it'll be just rush up onto it and uh, like uh, ignite my saber, getting ready to just slice gosh. it open. Wait. <laughs> just like Han and uh, the and I thought Tom -tom. sounded good on the outside. Uh, oh gosh! Yeah, so to cut it open, uh, attack roll. Uh, it should depend on how you want to do it. If you want to kind of just brute force it open, an attack roll. Uh, you can do a survival roll to see if you can kind of cut it nicely, just to make sure you don't accidentally incinerate a pearl. Uh, I can use the, I can use Burke's going to throw his hands for this. 
I can use the He's fragmentation mine. I'd prefer the open. the careful method, but I mean, if, <laughs> if folks are oh, there you go. That's that's for Kirk. His survival. He's taking oh. out that great sword he got earlier, just like yeah. <laughs> like like a dinner, like a, like Ren... a steak, just like carefully cutting off a portion. Seeing that that's happening, I guess Ren would go for the horns then, try and get them off. So the horns you're able to get off without a roll. Uh, you're able to take uh, two of its horns as trophies to confirm your kill. Uh, and with an 18, you are able to find a crate pearl in there. Uh, so you guys have one crate pearl, and I can't remember if they define their price in the rule book. Uh, let me check on that, but otherwise I will throw a price in there for you that you guys can sell it to when you find a, a good buyer. Uh, that may want some gemstones to you from being. Uh, sweet, so, uh, what I time know. is it? Oh, 9.28. I got some two. Oh, nothing. I was just saying that I have two precious gems in my inventory. Uh huh. Uh, a crate pearl is a modification for a lightsaber. That's where it's listed. Okay. Uh, well, we'll say, uh, let me just, just do this. Uh, let's see how that will look. So we're going to do a roll for it. Uh, and we'll see how how nice that pearl looks and kind of what you guys may expect to get from it. So let me look something up real Come quick. Come on, big money, big money. <laughs> uh, oh, they're, they're pretty high up there, man. I think I think it's better to take the regular. <laughs> so let's see. Here. Hey, don't dissuade him. So who wants to roll me 12 or 10d6? Not it. <laughs> Nobody's I've feeling been, confident in that. I've been you know what? I'm so pretty bad. confident. I'm, yeah, go, I've been Nora. Rolling. I've been, Nora's I'm, got it. 10 Come on, Nora. 10d6. Okay. You got it, it Nora. Is it, is, it, is it exclamation mark R? 10 D6. Right? I think it's backslash with the system. Backslash. You know what? I can't remember between Discord and. Yeah, it's ah. oh. Oh. And... Uh, Yeah, that is over the average. Let's go. Hell. So, uh, what is that? Six. Uh. No, guys, I just realized we're actually starting to make money. <laughs> I know. We have, we didn't get money for a real long time. No, for real. <laughs> I was like, Tegan, I can't afford it. We were in a lot of <laughs> we were in a lot of story stuff. We got sabers. So I was happy with that, but yeah. I have Did on I my shopping pay? list like jetpack just sitting there. <laughs> one, <laughs> one of these days. So you guys find a pretty like it's a a near flawless. Uh, that you think with some sweet talking and the right buyer, uh, you can maybe let it go for thirty six thousand. Nice guys. I'm just saying we should invest in a business, make this money. You know, start getting some capital. You know, see where it goes. I'm just saying. You know, like. <laughs> Pretty sure Pink will be easy convinced on that one. <laughs> like, uh, would anyone uh, here, because Isleth absolutely wouldn't, but would anyone here even think about putting that into a lightsaber? Not here. <laughs> I just want a payday. That's what I, yeah, just, imagine the new jetpack you can get. <laughs> I know, I'm looking at it like. <gasps> I can buy oh, all of the nice. premium mods. I've been waiting to get. Yeah, I know. I've been waiting to get some premium mods. I thought uh, the rule would be willing some to fiber that armor. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. Perfect. Well, that's where we'll wrap up today. Uh, well, the next session will pick up with uh, hopefully you guys earning some respect in the camp. Uh, and potentially getting closer to uh, boarding the Dreadnought uh, from Mandalore the Devourer. Uh, you guys had a little rough luck there with the first two challenges, but uh, luckily you guys, nobody died uh, going up against the Kray Dragon. And we That's walked away right with side. some walked away with some sweet moolah, or not sweet moolah <laughs> per se, moolah but sweet or... potential moolah. <laughs> you know, potential energy, it's the same sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, potential. It's like stored, you know, waiting to be released. 
one sesh, guys. I did not ex- expect you guys to struggle so much there, but uh, loved Ping's story. That was hilarious, man. <laughs> that was, um, it was definitely a fun one, guys. Yeah, it was a good time. All right. Yep. All Thanks right, you guys session. have a good one. See you all in yep. a couple all weeks. Right. Bye-bye. Weeks. See ya.